dragon's blood wouldn't do us any harm. A drop of dragon's blood wouldn't do us any harm. A drop of dragon's blood wouldn't do us any harm. Cause it's the end game time. Oh, we'll roll the old dice and sing a song. We'll roll the old dice and sing a song. We'll roll the old dice and sing a song. Cause it's the end game time. Oh, a bottle of rum won't do us any harm. A bottle of rum won't do us any harm. A bottle of rum won't do us any harm. Cause it's the end game time. in the sea and dead men in the sand old salt marsh sleeps while its enemies plan best batten down your hatches there's a storm near at hand oh, we should have stayed on land oh we'll roll the old dice and sing a song we'll roll the old dice and sing a song we'll roll the old dice and sing a song cause it's the end Arr. And welcome back. For those of you joining us for the first time, the crew of Pixie's Fury, that is, the adventurers who you see on the screen in front of you here, have sailed to an uncharted island in pursuit of a group of cultists. They have tied them to a group known as the Thalassic League, whose sinister deeds seem to involve a broad um, web of conspiracy sort of stretched across the Sword Coast, but more specifically, a broken pact related to it is threatening to destroy the entirety of Saltmarsh, or so they have been told. So um, they followed these group of this group of cultists out to an island where they witnessed a young woman carrying her baby down into the sea, and as they charged ashore to try to find a way to save this child and stop this profane ritual the sea started to almost boil with activity in the small cove and almost a dozen or more of these half human half sea creatures started walking onto the shore after them and a tall man with an octopus sort of attached to his head tentacles wrapped around completely blocking his eyes stood and began to call storms all around them we left in the middle of combat and that is where we shall resume um talise ashore you have um been aboard the ship Keeping track of Kalen, the last, the one um, Chandler family member that seemed to not be completely corrupted. But the fighting grew louder and louder on the shore and lasted longer and longer. And you thought you needed to get to that island to be with your comrades. So you have just arrived on a jolly boat. Or you probably just swam, didn't you? probably faster that way you are a water yep. genasi after all <laughs> what i do so talise yeah. <laughs> would you please roll initiative no um do you, while while she's rolling initiative dm uh, we were told to bring in the octopus alive or very recently dead for keladek correct they said it I'm um as long as it's yeah, we definitely made it a point because bringing it alive was a very that was a very tall order yeah. so we i definitely made the point to ask whether or not we were going to do that and i believe he said it didn't matter yeah he recently said it dead he just right. says as long as, as, long as it's as intact some... right yeah and okay. it's not like desiccated and been dead for a while or blown into a million pieces we would yes. never do that no <laughs> horns of blasting um no <laughs> horns of blasting do DM, I can't click myself on the map. All right. Uh, please pull yourself onto the map. Use your own token. Thank you. Oh, no. I will use my own token. But put yourself near the edge of the boat there. And just so you yeah. know, as you're hopping off the uh, edge of the ship here, you see this writhing sort of mass of tentacles under the feet of both Melvin and Inaris as they are standing there. Great. Okay. 
So please roll yourself some initiative. I think she did. did. Oh, seven. All right. It was a nine. It will. First. It take. That what's up? Never mind. I rolled a nine matter. one, but it that was when I discovered that I was having the issue, and then I rolled a seven. Mm -hmm. uh, if you rolled nine first, oh, it actually doesn't matter because that's it's all. Um, that's what I was like looking at the list. It you're puts still me in above the same me. spot either way. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> how did you, how did you roll one? one? <laughs> you're it's still easy. last. It's easy, right? There's, 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 there's twenty digits it's, it's, on here. It's one out of twenty. It, yeah. Yeah. I, I okay, vote that we no longer it. call it the one. It's now the Kraken butt. Ah, Kraken, Kraken butt. butt. Yes, the K butt. Kraken's okay. ass. Yeah. This the is the, uh, for those of you who are wondering what this um, sort of um, sunken priest-like entity is looks like here, I will pull it up again. It really looks um, like he has horribly chapped lips and it makes me uncomfortable. He does. But don't talk <laughs> about it. That's a medical condition. <laughs> Just needs um, some vaseline. It, it's like that. He's it's very like self-conscious about it. Don't don't bring it up. That's I mean, what drove him to the cult. It. Okay, Is it like this guy? That's his back. My master Sauron the Great bids thee yes. welcome. Uh, <laughs> it is. It's the mouth of Sauron. I, I now recognize that actor solely by his mouth. Like, no, I've he identified greatly him. At the yeah, he's, mad, he's, a, he's in Mad Max. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> the guy from Mad, the Mad Max. They got these big, big, big plums. Chunk, 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 chunk. <laughs> he's the, the guy who he's uh, from Mad Max. <laughs> oh, <Wow>. yikes. <laughs> and with anyway. that, that's. We can't top that. Do you want to fight night. some fish people, guys? I guess that concludes negotiations. <laughs> right. Um, did you show them the, the Kraken Priest Jade? Were you I able did. to display yeah, that? Yeah. Great. It's okay. Right now. So, Melvin, starting out your turn in these, um, uh, these writhing tentacles. Um, did, did we decide that you had already made your save? Because yes, we accidentally... I did. Did it on your turn? Yes. Okay. So um, you are able to just dart out of the way. None of them are able to grasp at your ankles, wrists, anything. <clears throat> well, okay, okay then. Um, I guess I'll I'll move out of the way. Just just try to get a little bit free of that, so I don't have to worry about it later. Uh, and then uh, let's see. Uh, these guys just showed up, right? They did, yes. Okay, so none of them have been hit yet. As did the I believe, woman. Yeah, I believe here. she's the one that's got the baby. Yes. Does she actually baby. still have the baby? The baby? She, she does. It is cradled in one arm. Oh, I definitely thought you said that she didn't have the baby last week. No, like, he definitely she said... Came back he out. Yeah, she came have... back out of the water with the baby. And the baby looks uh. fine. <laughs> Is it, it's kind of just moving there. You can see it moving ever so slightly. It's mostly wrapped and. Gotta save the baby. Okay, well. I don't um, know. Do we want to say anything? I don't don't have a lot to do, <clears throat> so I. I guess I'll just um. Take my uh. <laughs> take take my quill and and um, shoot a little firebolt out of the tip of it um at the the caster up here. Okay. Uh, or a 18 to hit. You said it that wrong. hits. You said bolt. Bolt, bolt. yes. Yeah, you said it wrong. Seven points of fire damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, he takes Incorrigible it. Jade. <laughs> I'll try my best. He and is he... beginning to look a little bloodied. Mm -hmm. And that, that'll be my, my turn. Okay. I believe Mr. Chandler here has been knocked unconscious by her very own um, Sarayan. Whose turn it now is? I thought I had a whole person in front of me. <laughs> All right, so uh, Sarayan has just knocked out uh, Talon because she was being scolded by members of her party. That, that's, you know, not necessarily what we're going for is uh, straight up murder each time. So she'll just kind of leave him um, and she will move to Red Guy. He's asleep. Ah, well, perfect. Oh, yes. I can just stab him while he sleeps. I'm just kidding. I won't do that. Um, yes. 
La 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 la. Okay, so I will actually move to this guy, moving a little further inland. Uh huh. Um, and Sarayan will. Oh, is my protection, not my protection, my divine favor, is that still up from last time? Oh, uh, I do not remember what. So I, I had cast it once and it fell, and because I got hit, and then I, I think rolled, you cast it again, and then I you? did cast yeah. it again. Okay, then in that case, yeah. Okay. I don't think you've taken damage. Yes. Okay. Cool. 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 So I will then use my longsword to thwack at the guy in front of me. Uh, uh, 19 <laughs> but it's just to, that's just damage sorry okay. no no that's that's your that's your to hit just click oh. the thing that says longsword underneath it and that'll roll your damage oh dope 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 okay, exactly cool. that many dope 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 so two handed nine damage and then I'm gonna use my extra attack because I am a paladin and I'm gonna are you, do it again. Are you not using a shield? Oh, well, I, I am. So it's a one-handed attack is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. so it's like mm -hmm. the one-handed damage. Because I, I think you have oh, the dueling right. fighting style, right? I so do. you get a little yes. extra damage. Yep. Ah, thanks. Welcome. All right, so, ele <laughs> so 11 points of damage, and then I will take uh -huh. the extra attack. Because mm -hmm. like I said, I got them paladin skills. And you feel, so strong. You feel much more powerful where you where you used to be able to swing once. Suddenly you feel like you can swing twice. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, Persona's great powers coursing through my body. I'm going to hit someone again. <laughs> Persona is great. Don't forget to add your di di uh, divines thing on that. Have you got, have you got something else? Oh, right, 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 yeah. Um, plus d4. So I can, can I roll two separate d4? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Just roll two d4. Dope. Dope, 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 dope. Uh, six. Great. An impressive 27 points of damage you've just dealt out in those two. Um, the creature in front of you, these are not well armored. They do have um, sort of like barnacled flesh. Some have shells just kind of attached to them. Um, what clothing they used to wear has mostly fallen off and there's, there is some crust to this hybrid form and the, this muscle and bone are really sinewy and tough. So, um, he's still standing, but just, just barely. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Murloc. Thorian yells at the party. Should I leave this one alive or? No. Oh, okay. This one's okay to kill. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. What's going on with OBS? OBS is just frozen for me, so forgive me, guys, if you can't see it properly yet. I've been having this problem with OBS for weeks. It just freezes. <laughs> they can see his pelvis. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to wait for it oh, to yeah, unfreeze. Oh, yeah, it kind of... It's been it happening like since our... the last couple of updates. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, okay. We'll press we'll get on. It. We'll get it sorted. Um, but I believe that goes to Nether's turn, who is currently... Oh, no! Sightless, unfortunately. Nether brings her hands to her chest, and crosses up, closes her eyes, and sinks down. And the water below her sort of gathers in, getting ready to burst again. She's going to hold uh, arms of Hadar until there are more creatures around her, and then she will cast it. Okay. Uh, what makes you think there are going to be more creatures around? By the way, we have. My, our wonderful friends in chat have summoned Klaus. There is a Kraken hype train going at the moment. So how appropriate. Lift, Jade, lift, lift. <laughs> lift it. Show that. I don't want to do this because I'll end up knocking my front teeth out. Yeah. That's what I was like. Over. Right, let me look away. Please don't. Shoulder. Please don't. I laugh. <laughs> cool. All right. That any. So just that. No movement. No movement. 
All right, it becomes the turn of the sea spawn themselves. No way! Sarayan, hold the line as you are. You will take some aggression for doing so. Fair um, the one towards the top has. Um, you will attack two with two unarmed strikes and then once with his Piscine anatomy, which is their little feature. It's one of three things. So the two unarmed oh. strikes come at you. Um, All right, Piscine oh. anatomy. Wow. Uh, I'm you know, not whispering, which I will switch, that, but I have a pair of 20s on my yeah, unarmed strikes. That just those... hits. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Take, uh, well, six points of bludgeoning damage. Ah, uh -huh, they are weak. <laughs> and then he is going, as he opens his mouth, you see these long um, piranha-like teeth. Piranha. Just dozens and dozens on each, um, mm -hmm. and almost rode like a shark. The teeth s extend almost all the way back along his hard palate, nearly down his throat. It looks more like the maw of like a worm than any sort of creature you would recognize. Doesn't seem practical um, for eating. However, he bites with a 12, so... Oh, well, he misses. Ha oh, they are weak. <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah, yeah. All right, the next one comes at you. Two unarmed strikes. I have a 9 and a 19. They are still weak. <laughs> All right. And then it will um, reach out with its poison quills at an 18. We'll still miss. Mm -hmm. The third one has unarmed strikes. Can't get higher than 11. And then one of its arms is like this free waving tentacle that tries to wrap around you. Um, and it misses also with a 16. So That's right. that is the extent of those. Bye. Um, let's see. This one will move to you, Nether. Um, are you holding till multiple more creatures come, or was it just till in a? What was your condition here? You, you are muted, it. sir. Uh, I was going to assume that that at least another two were going to come. Okay. So yeah. That's what I. Some... That's what I thought. That's what I heard. But I just. I'm using to tremor sense to detect when there are two near. Me. Yeah. Near. Cool. All right. Uh, a couple of. I've got a natural one and a thirteen. Does thirteen hit Nether? Thirteen does not hit Nether. Okay. Ah, but I am attacking at advantage as you are yes. blinded. All righty then. I have. Not enough. Um, another have a 12 and a 6. So I have one more that is going to charge at... Oh, I got, forgot it's Piscine Anatomy. The bite. Oh, Lord. I have a 19. That hits. For 5 points of damage. Alrighty. That takes 5. And the next one comes up towards you as you are right, right. there in front. As that bite hits... She gathers her strength again, and another blast of water shoots down, and from it come a large number of uh, these swirling tentacles made of wrapped seaweed that just uh, stretch out in all directions, attach themselves to all targets, and the necrotic energy begins to pump across them. And she says, Tuleman Kelach! And casts Arms of Hadar again. All right, and remind me and remind everyone else what that spell nice. does um it does 21 points of necrotic damage to whoever doesn't make a strength save dc 15. and within what range 10 feet of yourself mm -hmm. does prion have to make that save as well he sure does he'll be fine right i don't know was it again that so. is an excellent roll on that by it the way it is indeed um Wow, that is nice. Uh, my friends, just so you know there in chat, our hype train is pulling away from the station. If you guys get that up higher, we can give away more Kraken dice. So a little bit less than a minute. Uh, but even if it goes, you'll have a chance later on. So, all right. Strength, Strength save. saves from my sea spawn. I got a plus six on Four it. of them. I wrote a Kraken the first time I've ever rolled these dice. A Kraken, 26. <laughs> I have a 17 going uh, counterclockwise. I have 17, 11, 4, and 9. Like 10 damage, yeah? 
Right, and I believe it is if you save, you take half. Let me just double check yeah. that. This is for you, Liz. Half damage. Um, Great. Now, also those that um, those that have uh, taken the damage, they cannot take reactions until their next turn. Wow. Well, the one next to Prion that will make no difference for, as it is dispatched by your tentacles, um, it withers up and sort of the becomes brittle and just falls and cracks to the ground under the necrotic energy. Um, and then after that, another collapses to the ground, utterly spent. Hmm. One will run up then and take its fallen comrade's place and try to attack Prion. Um, I have a 17 and a 16, which I know does not get through to you, you crazy armored beast. And a tentacle for 14. So all three of its attacks bounce off of your armor, Prion. And she will walk forward. And use the baby as a bludgeoning weapon. <laughs> Classic. What's what's Classic the damage rate for baby bludgeoning? 2d6 damage. <laughs> equivalent of a great club. There's a lot of psychic damage. <laughs> yes. Hmm. And uh, we'll reach up towards you, um, uh, Mariah. What? I'm behind a bush. <laughs> You did say you went behind a bush, so you will have some cover. Okay. But um, I do not believe you were able to take the height action. No, I didn't. Yeah. Um, if you'll excuse me, I lost my um, my uh, I lost my page. My uh. Um, I know. Well, while, you, while you're trying tight. to find that, I'll jump in here. Um, here big go. thanks to everyone with the uh, hype train. Um, Pingu Boy, hey, that's me, 100 bits. Uh, Pixie for the 800 bits. Uh, Lore Explorers for two gifted subs. Channel Not a Mimic with one gifted sub. Uh, Manx Works for 100 bits. And Cold Pepper Hot Salt for 100 bits. Also, thank you Ooh. to Opera Sun and Knoxville Buckeye, who both resubbed. And Blue Cookie for the follow. God. Thanks, guys. What does that work out as? She will extend a hand towards you and um, the spines will sort of shoot out from her forearm, the one nope. that she is not carrying the child with. Okay. Um, only have a 10 to hit, so especially oh, with your cover, God. it's not going to do it. <laughs> but she is staring at you with sort of an intensity that looks almost, she, she looks almost possessed, like these creatures, devoid of emotion or passion in the way she's fighting. So, um, just kind of extends the hand and then shoots at you. And that is the end of her turn. Becomes to be now in Neris's turn. Yes. I will need you to make a dexterity saving throw, please, as you start your turn amidst the tentacles. Gross. That is just not what I want to hear. <laughs> Uh, that is an 11. Um, 11 is, I believe, not going to do it. No, unfortunately, that is a failure. Um, you are restrained as the tentacles grapple around you and they begin to squeeze and crush you. Um, you will take 3d6 damage. Which is going to come out to be 11 points of damage to you, Inaris. You may use your action if you would like to try to make a strength or dexterity check. You uh, see the pattern of the, the writhing tentacles. They have sort of this wave-like um, 
uh, motion, this fluidity in the way that they are squeezing and pulling and grinding you. But you're able to find a break in it and throw a couple of them off, and you are free to move. So I am going to move. So I get uh, difficult terrain, your movement's half, correct? So that would be that would be half. Um, you are not in difficult terrain. Um, it is actually, once you throw it off, it is not dif- Uh, no, it is difficult terrain. You're correct, sorry. Yes, so movement halved. And so I use my action and my movement, but I still have a bonus action, right? That's correct. Yes, I am going to, Anaris is gonna see that Nether is hurt AF, and I wanna use my bonus action to cast Healing Word. What is the source of this power? Healing word is concentration. Oh, it's a it's secret. Do it. No, is it divine power? Is it is it a divine source? It, it is. Uh, it is. Okay. The Raven Queen, I believe. Queen? All right. You don't hate the Raven Queen, right? The, uh, it's a divine source. I want the uh, the healing, regardless. Okay, because it's 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 happening. It's 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 on its way. Thank you. <laughs> So, if I did that right, you get four? Four? four. That's four. very helpful. Thank you. And uh, you're, you're, you're right. so, that's it. Nether screams, Father! And freezes up and is stunned. Oh, well, the, uh, the, uh, the special effects of the ravens exploding around you and... Yeah, probably didn't help. Sorry. What? I was trying to heal you. Her eyes are wide in panic. And you see her mouth working, and she can't make any sound. Oh, that's the last time I help anyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anything else from Anaris? That's it. That's Mariah's turn. I <laughs> pop out of the bush cover and looked out. Oh, shit. Um, I will um, whistle a uh, melody in the direction of uh, Nether and cast my own healing word at level three. Um, for, yes, exactly. It's for 14 points of healing. Hey, that is a hell of a healing word. Many um, thanks. And then I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm such a weeb. I'm gonna <laughs> look down to. Um, the <laughs> the woman holding the baby, <laughs> and I'm gonna shout down at her. It was said that you would destroy the Thalassic League, not join them. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh high ground references. <laughs> Please make a wisdom <laughs> Lose your inspiration. <laughs> She's gonna run back into the water with the baby. I'm so confused. Uh, wisdom. I have a 17. Ah, tits. Okay. Well, I tried. She just down. stares at you. That's okay. I took a personal enjoyment from that. It's okay. You yeah. don't understand the reference. It's fine. It's a play <laughs> from the mainland. Don't worry you're, about it. You're winning. You're playing D&D and you're winning. I don't. Go back down <laughs> into the bushes. <laughs> the, um... The Kraken Priest now starts to look around and looks back towards all of you. The tentacles drop, and he simply raises his arms out, and you hear the thunder increasing around you, around you. The winds begin to blow, and you suddenly, with one gust, feel sea mist stinging almost the side of your face, all of you, and you hear a sort of rocking sound as you see the boat being tossed about and the surf begins to pile up closer and closer to this bottom level of the island. The waves are pounding up and everyone on this base level where there is not in grass now is in waist deep water as the water continues to rise. The floor is lava. I was good at that game. <laughs> That's terrifying. Okay. Talise, 
<laughs> you get up to see this. The water is now rising all around you. This battle is underway. Your companions, some of them are looking quite hurt. Yeah. Poor, poor another. Fable 42 it. is raiding us. What's Welcome up, Raiders. Fable 42? Thank you guys for uh, coming and joining us. We are in the middle of a combat against some cultists. Um and a kraken priest who is ra who is either raising the water around this island or sinking the island is that like you know is it this the same thing like you know i, I don't know it's <laughs> anyway to look a lot like fishmen it is so um very good that is uh uh, that is what is going on. So, um, Talise, you may continue your turn. Thank you. Oh, I should also say, Fablers, we have a um, giveaway going on right now. So, exclamation point giveaway in the chat. We are giving away some Kraken dice two sets in fact is our wonderful supporters got a hype train going on earlier so please everyone enter that in the chat and hang around till after the break and we'll be giving some stuff away okay. all right now talise <laughs> sorry now, now for real I'll yeah uh, i will come over to yeah okay. yeah is that still technically on the, let's say, the ground level? <laughs> um, like a little bit of boo. Yeah, so like the, that, the grass <laughs> is just the start of the slope that you see there. So if you stepped forward, you would be about ankle deep as opposed to waist deep. Let's say it that way. <laughs> Such a big difference for a water <sighs> character. Um, and you, can I, does anybody look specifically in need other than poor Nether that we all know what happens every time I heal her? <laughs> <laughs> Nether is doing all right as far as hit points are concerned. Okay. We've seen a lot of her wounds close up, but she is okay. still freaked out. How uh, how much damage has Sarayan taken? Yeah, I was going to say that perhaps I could use just a little boost. Um, boosty boost. Well, boosty boost. Yeah, I am nearly at half hit points. Okay, then I will. Then I'm gonna cast Alien Word, second level. Cast a cast. Which gives you. Which gives Sarayan nine. Thank you. You're welcome. Great. And Feeling anything better. else? You can use, still use an action there, Talise. I always forget that I have that. Yeah, it's a bonus action to do healing word. You still have your full action to make use of. Ha ha! I'm way too excited about that. Um, is this is this He's an enemy or? Is, but that's, that's we're leaving him alive. One of them is sleeping, and one of them has gotcha. been knocked unconscious. That's the one that's been. Dog marked, or earmarked, yes. whatever the right word is. Whatever the word for the thing. Dog -eared. I would dog dog <laughs> earmarked. It depends on if it's a, a book or not, <laughs> or a cow. I would like to cast sacred flame on this guy right next to Nether. Okay. You make a dexterity saving throw to try to dip out of the way. He's not very fast. He rolls a seven. Oh, what a shame. He takes two D8s, which I'm going to roll with my Kraken. I believe it already rolled when you did the first, did when it? you cast it the first time with that. Uh, oh, it with did. the seven. I was going to roll my fancy Kraken. I will oh, okay. Go ahead and roll the Kraken. <laughs> Watch it be two. Yeah. What? Nothing. <laughs> you have the high ground? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obvi, but you know. <laughs> Okay, well, I rolled a nine, which is a five and a four. Well, you can't see it because my lighting's crap in here. But. I can see it. Five and four, nine. Five and four. It's a nine. Yay! Either way, it is enough. Either one would have been enough to disintegrate this one into a pile of fishy bones and scales and 
little fish hook that was there. He got hungry by accident, but maybe ate the fisherman instead of the other way around. So he is now dispatched. Aha! And that's it for me. <laughs> Great. Hey, Prion. <laughs> oh, God, sorry, bopping around is my go. But um, it's only been, uh, you know, it's only been six seconds. Yeah. But it's seconds your turn. That's all we need. Um, is never, like, prone stunned on the ground. She's not prone. She's just stunned. Like a like a stunning strike. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but she's a lot more healed now. I... Yeah, I'm nearly at full. Oh, okay. Um, Which is not saying much. She doesn't have that many hit points, but... No. Mush the dudes. I'm going to have to, yeah. I'm going to hit Make the first guy in front of me. Can I use cracker dice? Have a look. Yeah, go. Got new go dice. New dice, who this? Uh, try <laughs> plus six. I rolled a two. So that's only an eight. That's going to be a miss. It will be a miss. Oh my god, the second one was a two as well. <laughs> First one was a cracker, and, and then I rolled double twos. Uh, my bonus action, I'm going to do um, whatever it's called. Second wind. Second wind. Alrighty. Eight, eight back. And Nine. hold the line uh, other than that. Yes, please. Can I swap places as All a move right. action with her? Pardon? Can I swap places with Never as a move action? Probably not. Before seeing uh, it, no. it would be a. Uh, it would be yeah. Right. <laughs> that's that's fun. Um, it would be. Yeah, sorry, that's wrong. Using more of your action economy than you have. If you would have replaced your an, an attack with a grapple, then maybe. But yeah. um, all good. Good. All right. Brings us to the top of the round because of the awesome support we had before, because of the bits and such. Will you guys please tell me who has D twenty inspiration? A show of hands. So it looks like between three of us, we or four of us, because I get to roll too, we have to um, some inspiration. Thank you uh, for the bits, for the subs, and every, everyone. Um, you guys are the best. Uh, so let's roll this. Nether has inspiration. Yeah, I get it twice. You do not. Wow. Uh, Thank you, Melvin, everybody, you for have the it? amazing, the amazing support. I really needed that. Sarayan, you are inspired. And <laughs> right, now it is Melvin's turn. Um, Melvin starts panicking. Uh, he is waist deep in water, and he is not having it. Um, immediately starts to run as fast as he can toward the the nearest dry spot of land um okay it will be difficult to difficult terrain, terrain, terrain yeah, i yeah. figured okay well, <laughs> um he can get to there i roll to see if he i rolled a natural one on that wisdom save so he uses his action to dash okay to get up onto dry land gotcha yeah well, it's it's dry Just full panic mode book above head as he's running <laughs> it's not even raining it's coming from below but oh it's I'm raining trying to keep it out of the water <laughs> yeah oh Best gotcha oh Saraya, um, where did all this turn. rain come from <laughs> i love these like self-imposed difficulties that y'all are coming up with <laughs> oh, i know do you really like them i don't think oh, you do <laughs> he likes them not right now <laughs> okay so can I divide attacks among various ones or just all of my energy on one guy? You can divide your attacks. You can even move between them, should you wish. Oh, awesome. Okay, so the one directly in front of me has taken the most damage. Yeah. So I am going to just keep whacking away with my long sword. Let's see. So I rolled a 23. Oh, yeah. For 10 points of damage. That one is already a little bit or quite damaged and as it uh, slumps a bit, 
falls on its heels, you take the opportunity and slice its head clean off as it drops down into the water. You told me to kill these ones! <laughs> <laughs> and then I will move to this one. And again, attack it with my longsword. 21. Um, Serayan oh, is on fire. on fire today. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> hits. Plus a d4. Um, plus the d4, which I was about to roll. Plus two, so 13 points of damage to that one. And then I would like to take my extra attack. No, that's it. That's it. That's my attack. attack it's twice. only two. Yeah. And then I start to move to do the other one. And a voice in my head says, no, only two at a time. <laughs> <laughs> two for now. <laughs> yeah. And Don't that's be my greedy. Turn. Two for now. <laughs> Get better, scrub. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's effective... Regardless, Nether, would you like to try to shake off your stun condition? Indeed, Nether spends the rest of her turn being stunned, and at the end of her turn is no longer stunned. Aha. Okay, fishy guys. Saran, I've got some unarmed strikes coming at you. Um, I have four attacks, highest being a 17. Then I have a bite and poison quills. Ha, I have a 22 on my poison quills. Uh, that does hit. Four points of damage, and you s start to see the world begin to spin. And you live underwater, so you're used to waves, but solid objects aren't supposed to look like that. Please make a constitution saving throw versus this poison. Awesome. Okay, I rolled. <laughs> What'd you roll? A crit fail. Oh, a crack that's a kraken butt. That's a kraken butt. A KB. For me. A KB for short. Sarayan, you are crack poisoned. Aw, oh, beans. And the bite does not connect, so. You, do, right. you don't feel so well. Aww. Stun Mr. target. Mr. Stark. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, Too soon. Too soon, man. Attacking there. I can't believe it took so long to hit you as a stun target. All right, I have a 17 to hit. Six points of bludgeoning damage. And then I have a bite. Oh, no. I'm going to crunch down for another five points as this creature is just all over the stun target of Nether, just trying to... Um, it almost looks like he's just trying to tear her apart, rip off her arm, and is biting at the, about at the shoulder. So that was um, 11? 11 total. Thank you. Um, you also hurt them quite badly with that uh, other attack, so they are looking to get their um, revenge. Something that's going weird with my... So I was at 23, so I should be at 12, right? Yep. Yes. Okay. And then... Um, Next one comes up, it's unarmed strike. It's a critical hit, unfortunately, yep. for six points of damage. <laughs> Not uh, particularly impressive. They are weak. It's hey, tentacle. Hit, point, hit points are a resource, and I'm spending them. Yeah. Yep, they are a resource. Um, it tries to money burn a hole in your hit with its tentacle then. Um, uh, ooh, that might be exactly it. So four more points of bludgeoning damage with a 24 to hit. Still up. Wow. Um, you are grappled. What? What's happening? What's got me? Help! And Prion. I've got... Two unarmed strikes. Can I get a crit? And my poison quills. I got a crit! <laughs> poison quills. Um, it's only me that's that better. Against. 12 points of poison damage. And please make a constitution saving throw. 12 damage. Constitution saving throw. 15. 
you succeed. All right, now finally, Moriah. Woof. 12 again okay. to attack you. Uh, you are able to take cover down below from the woman trying to um, shoot the poison quills from her wrist. She does not seem transformed quite in the same way as these others. All righty. Uh, it is going to be in Neris. You are up. All right. I am going to hightail it up here. And I'm going to attack the one in front of Nether with my short bow. Which is the one that's grappling her? Is it the one directly in front or is it the one to the side? The one to the side. Okay, that's the one I want. Is a nine hit? I am sorry, uh, but a nine is not going to quite do it. It will bounce off of its shell hardened carapace. Um, I can use my bonus action and use my last spell slot and use healing word again, but that's all I got. I got all her. right. Huh? I'll get her. Okay, so I'll save it. Then that is... That's all I can do at the moment. Okay. As a reminder, too, you know, you, you've got that bonus action hide and stuff as a rogue. So if you're able, you know, yeah, moving I'm forward gonna... when you have good cover like that, you can always duck mm -hmm. behind a bush and try to make an attack uh, from there. Okay. Um, I know the short bow hasn't been your friend recently, so... <laughs> that second level guard. <laughs> Oh, maybe it is. Are you just one level rogue, or are you two? Uh, uh, th level three rogue, level oh, nice. two player. Yeah, she's got cunning action. Yes. Speaking of cunning, Mariah. Yippee! Um, I'm going to pop back out of the bushes and level my uh, light crossbow at the one that is grappling another. Uh, maybe I'll hit. Who knows? Twenty-three. That will hit, absolutely. For th wow. <laughs> Minimum damage. Uh, three points of piercing damage. Um, I will then um, again send some notes over the weave and cast a second level healing word for another. Ten points of healing. Got you, babe. Thank you. And pop back down. <laughs> Okay. Very good. Aha. The water rises further. Ah, uh, no. Everyone on the bottom level is now um, underwater. So the water is now, um, yeah, about closer to about 10 feet high. So where you have the um, sides of the cliffs here, that start, that is now above water. Melvin, it is now at your feet again, at about your ankles, but um, the water comes about to, the, laps up to about the side of these cliffs now. This is a little bit higher uh, behind the Kraken Priest, but now this entirety of this place is submerged. Talise. My turn. Um, uh, first, DM, would you say this is a stormy environment? Yes. I believe okay. I said it is exactly that. Yes. I was just, I was just double checking for no reason. I will come up to the edge right there next to Melvin. And then I would like to cast call lightning above the island. Okay. Um, <laughs> do okay. you want me to display it in, do you want me to display it? Yeah, read yeah. <laughs> out for our uh, viewers and the rest of the cast what that does, please. Okay, so call lightning is, it creates a storm cloud, like a giant um, funnel cloud, cylinder cloud, uh, 
centered above wherever I feel like. <laughs> and um, I'm going to choose a point where I can call down lightning and it's going to cause four D10 because it's a stormy area. Okay. And uh, I'm also going to use channel divinity for this round, which is automatic max damage. And uh, I can call down a lightning bolt every single turn as my action. And isn't it because since there's a storm already out there, it's That's why it's, more it's 4 D10 instead, 4D10 of, 3 instead of 3 Yeah. Kill the priest. Okay. That's, my next question was going to be, is he invulnerable? Because I missed the beginning of combat, so I wasn't sure if he was being and left alone just, for a reason. He's just out of the way. He's we just annoying. By, we got okay. swarmed by fish. But Melvin's fish been swarm. trying to kill him. Slowly, oh. at range. Well, <laughs> then... To Lise. Yes, I I will <laughs> call down, call upon the power of Valkor and cast my call lightning while using my channel oh, divinity. Oh, 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 but isn't it max damage anyway? Yeah, it it is damage. max damage, so oh. it's going to be forty. But I can't do like I, I just just uh, D and D Beyond and just uh, making yeah. sure. Yeah, that I was already it. a really amazing roll though. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah, so it's going to be it. it's going to be forty. Lightning or thunder damage, I forget. Lightning. <laughs> I was like, it doesn't matter because channel divinity works for both of Is them. Is he crispy? Wow. I mean, it's. He's got to be slightly crispy. His lips are a little more chapped now, right? Look, he's got to roll to save. I have a three on my dexterity <laughs> saving throw. Yeah, I was like, even if he doesn't get it, he's still taking half damage, which is still the funny, octopus. So. Oh my is gosh. This is why so I picked Tempest. You're telling me it takes 40 points of damage. Yes. In which case, um, and I can hit him again next time for. Oh Talise, please describe this lightning bolt <laughs> <laughs> that does this. I want to know what it looks like. Okay, well, first I'm going to be holding up. I have, which some of you will probably see soon. I have prayer beads wrapped around one of my wrists that have shark teeth on them, and I'm going to hold out my hand and I'm going to start praying very sort of muttering to myself so you can't quite see it and the shark teeth on the beads are going to sort of glow and crackle a bit with blue electric energy and the lightning bolt that's going to come down is going to be this very I, vibrant blue but i'm thinking like so white that it's blue and it just like zigzag 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 and just hits him and he just I don't want to cheapen the moment, but like describe it as like a Super Saiyan aura. And I hope that you guys know what I mean. <laughs> it's just, it's entirely surrounding. And it's like, it's so strong that it's like radiating a foot out beyond him. Amazing. And as that happens, um, you're all blinded for a second, have to shield your eyes. And when you look, you simply see um, the, <laughs> the uh, Kraken Priest there lying on the ground, um, completely unmoving. He's like, but, but, but it didn't work when I tried it. <laughs> Denied. Yep. It's true. Oh and with that, the water begins to subside. Um, so I, I accidentally cut off Inaris a little early before she got to decide her bonus action. So she has rolled a 20, I think I saw in the chat. So if you would like to move um, sort of over by Mariah here, I believe you have the movement to do that and you could hunker down in the bushes there. The 20, you feel very well hidden up next to your friend here. This is my bush. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> this is gonna sound so, terrible, but so I'm hiding taken. Uh, uh, reminds me of that that old the old guy in uh, Holy Grail, uh, not Holy Grail, uh, Life of Brian. <laughs> this is mine. Um. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Prion, you're up. All right, I'm gonna remember to use my familiar this time, and he'll come down to distract the one that is grappling. Uh, grappling Nether. Uh huh. Quite injured after your friend's attacks as well. Uh, 16 to hit. Thank goodness. Yeah. Oh, my. That's a terrible. Oh, seven damage at least. It's a bit better. 
seven as you uh, shish kebab this fish. It falls, and so does the tentacle. (laughs) Leaving Nether no longer grappled. I will then move there and then stab the one below. Come on, hit. 18 to hit. Oh, only four um, 18, yeah, definitely hits. Which one? You said the one below, yeah. Below, okay. Yeah, four damage. Four damage. Looking rough, very wounded, not quite dead. I'm the fighter, guys, and I do the least damage out of everyone. You'll get there. Melvin, the water is beginning to recede. Oh, well, that's, that's good, at least. Um, well, um, are either of the fish people near Saran particularly hurt? Um, the one that the one to her left, she has not attacked. However, the one sort of to her um, uh, sort of like eight o'clock or whatever uh eight i can't where's my brain all right it, her 730 is damaged okay um i will uh pull out my my quill for 730 and... never mind just go with it <laughs> southwest I, I'll, I'll pull out my quill and um i'm gonna play some darts i'm gonna throw my quill three times um, letting off a scorching ray um, using uh, cold damage this time. Oh. Um, and I will uh, target the one that is not injured near Saran. Mm hmm. And the two that are around Nether. Okay. So one each. Uh, correct, one each. So first the one near Saran. That's uh, a 25 to hit. Hits. For, oh, well, four damage. That's oh. <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> Next, uh, this red one here. That's 26. Mm-hmm. For five damage. Five and... damage is just enough as it, uh, beautiful attack, hits it straight in the head, and you can see that the, um, the blast of cold freezes through its entire skull. Its eyes crystallize and then crack as little icy bits rain down from its frozen eye sockets and it falls to the ground. Oh, that's gross. Um, and my last one is a 19 to hit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for 10 damage. Ah, uh, you were just warming up. <laughs> or the opposite. <laughs> yes. You were cooling. <laughs> cooling down. Yes. Nice. 10 damage. That's the first one. That one is taken. Very good. Great. Um, and that, that'll be my turn. I'm going to stay up here just in case the water comes back up. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right. Tali, uh, excuse me, Sarayan. So Sarayan feels the poison inflicted by this bite coursing through her veins, and she immediately sends up a prayer to Persona, and I'm going to expend five of my Lay on Hands pool to neutralize the poison as my action. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, you you summon that strength and um, the might and the faith in Persona cleanses not only your soul, but your body of this toxicity. Uh, anything else? Any uh... movement? Or... Let me see. Could I? I don't know if I have anything that's like. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use my bonus action to um to cast compelled duel. Okay. Can I make one of the creatures fight the other if it fails its saving throw? <laughs> what a, please post compelled duel see how that how does that one work technically, I thought it had to fight you it is a duel <laughs> and technically so, it's compelled it says you Don't attempt to compel to a creature into a duel one creature that you can see within range must make a wisdom saving Strong. throw <laughs> on a failed save the creature is drawn to you compelled to by your divine command or demand so like couldn't I demand it to fight the other one <laughs> 
I demand you fight each other. I demand you fight! Go! It, that's, you it are is weak. <laughs> I, I, that is <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> it's um, it is reading between the rules. It's just a little bit. Um, it is more a the little you, bit. Very much so. <laughs> it you are compelling it to duel you, and so basically it has a tougher time attacking anything but you. Mm, uh, well. It's not like fight for my amusement. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Sarayan is used to getting what she wants, so I don't know. Um, it was <laughs> really I... funny though if she if she did that and saw it work, and then it still came after her anyway. <laughs> that would actually be very funny. Okay, um, then yeah, I guess that's my turn since my compelled duel. I can't compel them to fight each other. <laughs> See, okay, as long as that like if that was the way it would for the rest of the game, I could you could just do two creatures that have to fight each other. Fight! <laughs> I've rolled a 17 on my wisdom save, however, so... I okay, do kind of so it would have failed. See... <laughs> I do kind of now want to see Saraya and just, like, do that, but, like, to people in the party and enemies, like, for kicks, you're just like, Prion, <laughs> duel this man! <laughs> <laughs> I command you to fight him! <laughs> Don't have to tell him twice. He'll do it. <laughs> yeah, That's I a... won't even need to expend the spell slot. But then she thinks it works. <laughs> It's a princess Perfect. move if I've ever seen one. It absolutely is. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay, um, Nether. So Nether gasps and she cocks her head and she hears the the um, wings beating of Brion's um, bird. She realizes that it's him next to her and she reaches out and she touches him. She says, don't worry, don't worry, Brion. I'll protect you. And she reaches out and just point blank range casts um, Eldritch Blast at the uh, creature right in front of her. Okay. It's already a disadvantage. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the... also because you're already at disadvantage. That's right. <laughs> uh, I'm going to roll a Kraken. Roll three dice, take the worst. Can I do that? No. <laughs> this is just me trolling. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait. Double disadvantage. Not bad. Uh, uh, the lowest I have is an 8, so that is 15 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hits. All right, so let's roll some damage. How much damage what am I at? 2d10. No, you get multiple attacks. Your Eldritch Blast does not up and damage. Oh, that's you right. get multiple that's right. beams. Now I remember. How much does Prion take? He's getting ah, his, he's 10 points. Very nice. This one probably misses with a 12. 12 actually hits? No shit. All right. So two hits with five points of Eldritch Blast damage. Okay, you are knocking um, considerable wounds into this one with the blasts, but it still stands, if barely. All right. Sarayan, um, I forgot to mention you may make a constant. No, you cured yourself from poison. Right, never mind. So you are no longer poisoned. Take that icon off of it. Oh, there. right. Okay, I will. Um, They are just. You're the only target here. They're going to keep fighting you. Uh, two unarmed strikes. I have a 19 and a 7. So take three points of bludgeoning damage. 19 is your AC, correct? Ah, is it 20? 20. Hey. Ooh, they just miss. Okay, that's that's Dang. too bad. All right. Bite. 17 misses. Gosh darn it. Beans. You guys and your plate armor. Um, you need to throw a by the time you get to me at the bottom of the round, you're, you're due a crit, so it's all right. <laughs> you can hit me with crit. Oh, she's, been, she's been hit more. I have a, I have six misses with all the attacks. This one up here took a nasty shot from Prion and will try to reciprocate. You me I'm again. sorry. You created me again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just. <laughs> I'll protect you, Prion. Like, no. That's oh. all you do against me is crit me. Yeah, go on. How much? Uh, uh, nine points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And the bite is an eight to hit. No. Oh. Any poison or anything? 
No. Um, amazing. Um, comes the tank, gets crit she every will, round. Um, sort of begin to no. She's gonna keep just trying to shoot these quills at Mariah. Very, um, Rude. sort of. Uh, um. Oh, she will hold up her wrist. She will actually look over her shoulder towards the um, Kraken Priest and as it's having seen it fall. And she just kind of shrinks for a bit, puts her other arm around the baby, and then just kind of kneels in place where she is. Taking a dodge action. Inaris, you're up. Time for a promotion. <laughs> Computer's just like swirling. I am going to attack this little dude right here. But I want to use my short bow. You are quite hidden with a 20. Yes. So I am just gonna move a leaf and go pew. Roll it with advantage. It's the run the one in front of your friend Nether there? Yes. Much better. That is a 22 to hit. Yes, super better. Yes. Okay. And that is 16 points of damage. With my ear to ear goes the arrow through its head and knocks it awesome. to the ground. And Any bonus action for you? Yes. I was just about to say, where did it go? Because I want to use that. Since I am not moving and I'm going to stay hidden, I'm going to use my steady aim bonus action, which will give me advantage on my next attack roll. Is it only on the current turn roll? I've never used this before. How long does it last? I don't know if you have to do that on the turn. But you can just hide anyway. Bonus action, you give yourself advantage on your next attack roll on the current turn. So I... You can yeah. use this bonus action only if you haven't moved during this turn and after you use the bonus action, your speed is zero. Yes. Yeah, so you use it at the start of your turn, basically, to to steady aim. Okay, no. So but I'm you could hide if you wanted, if you yeah. felt like, yeah, okay. Yep. Roll the stealth while we go to Moriah. That is a 16. Give, give something a wee little bit of a try here. Um, I'm going to come back out of the bushes and I'm going to look down at uh, the woman. Um, and the, see if I can lock eyes with her. And when I speak, there's a sort of an odd, like, quavering in the air as I say to her, Elsie, I suggest you come up here and put the baby on the ground. Roll a wisdom save against suggestion. Ooh. Hmm. I have a four. Does she, does she not so have advantage have because we're in combat? Uh, Still have a four. A good question. Still have a four. four. Got it. Yep. I rolled a f natural four and a natural one. So All right. there we go. She kind of looks up at you and there's a softer look in her eyes that you saw before. Very The hardness, the sort of, um, well, whatever it was is removed and there's now some fear there and then they soften a bit after your words hit her and kind of look almost vacant and she turns you think she's looks like she's going to start heading that way okay. and then I'll just I'll yell out to the group leave her alone focus down everyone else bossy <laughs> it's all it's right specified Talise um question I yeah. don't know why I said question and then I muted myself. Um, if I does, because I've already cast Call Lightning, if I summon another Lightning Bolt, does that count as? I want to do uh, I want to do a Healing Word, but does that? I can't cast another level spell would... when I do that. So would the Call Lightning? Because it's so you can as call lightning. Is it a bonus action on subsequent turns, or is it an, it's an action? Action. 
Like it's not casting the spell it's... again. You're just causing it to happen again because it's a concentration yeah, spell. Yeah, because it's a concentration spell. So you can totally do both. You're not okay. casting Call Lightning again. You're just causing the effect while concentrating. Okay. <laughs> okay, so then first and foremost, I'm going to do Healing Word. Second level, where are you? On Creon. Did it go? And I, that got a five. Okay, there you go. It's all right, double ones. Better than nothing. Still and helps. Then, oh. And then I would like to call down another bolt of lightning over here. Meow. Which is... So behind these two? Yes, because it's a five... I was forgetting. Everything within located. five feet of it, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dexterity saves. Dex save. I have a five and a fourteen. <laughs> I mean, oops. <laughs> That's zap. Um, Roll that zappy damage. If I knew you could use. Wait, the you you have one that's a fourteen because it's a four what? If I knew you could use the damage roll that you you done last time. I know, but that was a one shot. That was so nice. Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. So, so one of them takes eighteen, and one of them takes nine. Yeah, it's and Sarayan, you see this enormous bolt of lightning streak from the sky. The one in front of you is fried. The one next ah! to you. Yeah. <laughs> um. Cool. Prion. The um, foes around you seem to be falling. There's just like one left. I will run to there. And rinse and repeat with my familiar. For a 25 to hit. Five damage. So bad. Yes. Did I make it? Did I put it on the wrong layer? Sorry. Oh, never mind. Uh, oh, great. Nice. And 25 to hit again. Mm hmm. For uh, 8 damage. Wearing it down, it looks Tartan very, damage. very nearly dead. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, with that, there's one sleeping, one with a couple hit points, and as we go to the top of the round here, I think it's safe to call it at this point, that you will be, um, the four of your turns coming up will be more than enough to dispatch this last sea spawn, and Elsie will do exactly as you commanded, she will run up here, and then place the child on the ground. And once she does that, she immediately <gasps> picks it back up and looks at you very frightened. Because I believe the spell ends once she does as you command, correct? Concentration up to eight hours. The suggested course of action can continue for the entire duration. What is the What does the first part of the spell say? I might be just remembering it incorrectly. Um, uh, pursues the course of action as best described. The course of action can can continue for the entire duration. The suggested activity. Oh, yes. This spell ends. Yeah, I should have said to leave the baby alone. Whoops. Because I totally would have gone in and picked the baby up. Well, she's not but, trying to run away. Okay. She's standing there, so... And there is some quiet, the, the um, seas recede, and you have two unconscious enemies. <laughs> so your combat really has concluded. The corpse of many fish people lie strewn upon the beach. Some roasted, some hacked to bits, some stabbed. All varieties of death lying, staining the beach upon which you stand. There is a body of a kraken priest up upon this hill and a cowering young woman holding a baby 
here. There is also the unconscious form of Talon Chandler um, in this spot right here, Sarayan having knocked him unconscious. And there so. is relative <laughs> quiet. Um, when Elsie, you know, takes the baby back and kind of cowers a little bit, I would say, as long as you don't do anything sudden, no, no aggressive action towards any of us, no aggressive action towards the baby, no walking into the water, you're going to be fine. Okay. They made me. I it wasn't my choice. Made you at, you know, threat of death or made you because that's the socially acceptable thing to do in your family? <laughs> if I didn't do what they say, well, my life would be forfeit and they would just do it anyway with my child. So you're, how, how, how far in the fish process have you gone? I, I don't remember. And your child? I, well, he's only a month old. This is his first time out. Which means what for the uninitiated? I don't know. I don't remember my first time here. I remember coming back. My family welcoming me and taking me back to the home, but everything in between, I don't remember at all. Hmm. Is this a curse that your family has? Uh, I'm, yes, I think. Is she being sincere? Are you asking that? I'm just listening to everything and trying to suss her out. Okay. Um, uh, if you approach her, you're more than welcome to make an insight check. Yeah, obviously I'm listening. listening. 18. Um, as you suss her out, you feel sus about her explanation. <laughs> Hi, she's bullshitting. Oh, are no, you? No, I'm. No, you're hiding something. I can tell. The <sighs> truth out of her. You're one of them, and I point to one of the, uh, you know, the his wife that we killed. Oh, she reverted, didn't she? Yeah, she did. You're one of those creatures. I. Please, just... Will you take me back to Salt Marsh? No. Not if you're one of them. And would it be helpful for Sarayan to cast Zone of Truth? <laughs> Possibly. Sarayan is like, la 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 la. <laughs> like, sneaks Maybe. over to the side and um, begins to whisper under her breath and she's calling down the wrath of persona <laughs> to um, inspire this woman to tell the truth. And I will cast zone of truth. Um, what she's... is the casting time for that? Um... Let's see. I think it is instantaneous. Five hours. Uh, it's one action and it lasts 10 minutes. Okay. As, as she's beginning to do that, not sure if I even noticed that. Um, I replied it pre on, um, now let let's not be too hasty here. 
there's a possibility for negotiation depending on what is potentially gained. We gave them an option for negotiation. Look where it led. She wasn't on the beach when there was an option for negotiation. No, but she was one of them already. I agree. I, we, I'm, we've I'm happy to been agree. down the road of one person says we're doing one thing and one other person no, no, says no. we're doing another thing. So I think we should we should start with the maybes before we make firm decisions. I just want here. her to tell the truth. Yeah, that's that sounds good. Also, for what it's worth, um, my spell covers pretty much this entire circle of people. So what spell are you doing? Have to tell the truth. Oh, you're doing uh, well, a truth thing. We should. Everyone should push, put themselves yeah. where they think they are, so that we know who's under the effect. Well, if you're doing a truth it's thing, it's a ten foot radius. If you're doing a truth thing, this lady here should automatically ask to fail, so she tells the truth. If she doesn't, then we know she's guilty. Priyan, get your ass up this hill. I can't. It's uphill. I'm wearing a full plate. It takes me time. <laughs> Please, you're strong That's like a fine. fucking ox. So it's a, Serena, a 10 foot radius? 15. 15 Sorry. foot radius. Yeah. Ooh. Centered on a point you choose, or how does that? Uh, It's pretty much, let me double, let me look at the exact wording. Um, oh, a magical zone that guards against deception in a 15 foot radius sphere centered on a point of your choice within range. All right. Where I'm would you like to put, put the truth bubble? The truth bubble is right on our friend. She's my point. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I say you. you need Daenerys, to Mariah, to you are all in oh, it as well. Would you please effect. post the uh, the text and read it to chat so I we all know exactly what's going on? Sweetenly will. Sweetenly. Sweetenly. Uh, um. This spell is Bob. super effective with the spell command. If anybody has it. What about command duel? <laughs> uh, okay, so fight truthfully. Fight. Truthfully, you create a magical zone that guards against deception in a fifteen-foot radius sphere centered on a point of your choice within range. Until the spell ends, a creature that enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there must make a charisma saving throw. On a failed save, a creature can't speak a deliberate lie while in the radius. You know whether each creature succeeds or fails on its saving throw. An effective creature is aware of the spell and can thus avoid answering questions to which it would normally respond with a lie. Such a creature can be evasive in its answers as long as it remains within the boundaries of the truth. And if it doesn't remain within the boundaries of the truth, Sarayan will kick her in the shit. That's not in this spell, it's just what would happen. Must duel if she's lying. She attempts, she attempts to resist. Shocking. What? But rolls a 12. Bye. Uh, what? The power of Persona compels you. The power what of Persona right, compels you. What right do you have to do this? What right do you have to... Turn little babies into the creatures that you are. I'm just trying to help. It didn't seem like you wanted to do it. seems like you love your baby. We're just trying to get to the, the bottom of it. Really? <sighs> That's what I think. No, That's my truth. Ryan. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Thanks. All right, Elsie. Let's let's hear all about this relationship between your family, Chanders, and these fucking sea monsters and octopus priests and shit. The Lassic League. What do you want to know? Everything. I'm just their daughter. Well, that doesn't mean you haven't heard anything, you know, here or there during the years. Ask specific questions, Mariah. Why are they sending babies out to sea? Why Why is this happening? What's the purpose? It seems counterintuitive if you're worried about keeping your Only life. Only ask one question. I'm sorry. You're, I'm, 
Why are you trying to kill your baby? He's alive. As am I. I'm not sure they're trying to kill them. You get turned, don't you? From human to fish monster. Question. Are you one of them? Are you a fishy monster here? The ones that we killed? Only one I did time. ask a question. Freon. I... I'm gonna gut you like a fish in a minute. Can you, like, give her a sec Ooh. to answer a goddamn question, Priya? She's trying to wiggle out of it. That's what she's doing. I don't I walk care. Away. I want to hear what she says instead of I you walk. screaming at her. Guys! I deal with it, then. Stop fighting! <laughs> I just want to go back to Salt Marsh. I just... <laughs> it's been established that Salt Marsh is home to people that I care about. And if you mean it harm the way... And she points generally in the area where she thinks that the fellow fell. This one did. <laughs> totally wrong then place. you're not welcome. Do you wish Salt Marsh harm? Yes or no? So do you want the child? Does Will anybody have the spell command? I think I do. I know the spell command, but I don't know if I have it prepared. I mean, technically, I, I still have, I have lightning cloud, so I, we could just threaten to zap her. I have command. Have it? Is it? Is it a concentration spell? Mine. Um, zone of truth is not though. It's not. All right. No, no. So I think it's you can an cast command. I'm going to ask again, and you compel her to answer with a oh. command spell. Say oh, answer. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Do you wish harm to Salt Marsh? Answer. My will is insignificant compared to that which does. What's, what's its name? Yeah, what's prompting you to do it? It is nameless. It is the one whom I was given to when I was his age. She looks down at the child in her arms. It is ancient. It is the <laughs> land. It was here. before your pretenders rose to their thrones. She says, looking between Sarayan and Talis in, and Inaris. Why was Kaelin not accepted? Kaelin is different. Kaelin's purpose is different. Why was she not sacrificed? Can't tell if you're thinking, Peter, or if you're Stalin. No, no, no. Um, the, the Prime Waters... Ungrateful, unremembering. Go on. Ungrateful, unremembering. What does that have to do with whether or not Kaelin was sacrificed? 
It was her place. It was her purpose. What is her purpose? Her purpose. She was, was promised to, to be hurt. sacrificed. Did the Prime Waters not provide a boat? Were they supposed to take her out and kill her? <laughs> they cut us off. After centuries of partnership, of protection, they flourished. And when the late Miss Prime Water removed us from their household and forgot what was owed, nothing was given, and thus, in accordance with the pact, everything will be taken. Awkward. I'm willing to believe that you didn't have a choice if you were a baby then, but you have one now. And if you don't renounce this being, then you can never see your baby again. What does it entail for me to renounce it? I'm going to kind of lean down towards another. That's actually a fair point. I don't know if that's actually physically possible. I suppose we would have to take her to the priest. In some I... Marsh. Yeah. Okay. I will not be your prisoner. Well, I... <laughs> one a bit. I could... I could perform a, a ceremony, but she'd have to be willing. Be our prisoner. You can try Sarayan's way. If you willingly submit yourself to the power of these uh, so-called pretenders. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So-called. So-called. Oh, I'm not saying yeah. that. I mean, Persona was real, doubtless. Nonwithstanding. We'll see if this works. Submit yourself to Serene's power. Well, it's Persona's Maybe there power, is really. something to be atoned for. And then we'll decide from there. And I, and I can... Um, it would just be a dedication ceremony to Persona. Instead of the god you've been worshipping. And I promise Persona has helped me a lot. It's really nice. Your young spirit is nothing compared to the voice in the deep. I cannot accept. Serene turns to the group and kind Is of shrugs. If I give you the child, will you let me leave? Sure, if she leaves. If she leaves, what do you intend to do to when go you leave? Meet up with others? of her kind or of her similar group. Well, if she does, then she's one more person that will cut down if she chooses to put herself in our way again. But at least her child will be safe. I think she knows that. Have you met my cousin then? Uh, you know Kaylin? We know her. What? Yeah, she's on our ship. God damn it. He's <clears throat> the key to all of this. You understand. How? How is she the key to all of this? 
if what she was sacrificed, promised, then Salt Marsh will be saved. Nobody's sacrificing shit. Except maybe you. Okay. How about one problem at a time, guys? Okay. She should know. Yes, she should. I'll tell her. We're all about informed decision making here. Are you in the zone of truth? Nope. Are you like just like off in the distance talking I'm, to her? I am right where I am. I'm sort of leaning. I mean, we're only 10, 15, 20, 20 feet away. Yeah. Ways. yeah it's 10 feet, 10, <laughs> 10 feet away shouting. and 20 feet up a hill. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll, I'm happy to be in the zone of truth if you want me to be. It's up to you. I, that's no, why I said. I mean, you could stand at that, the edge of it, the, but. That was not a lie. Okay. Nether's going to tell Kaylin. Nether has not lied, so she's happy to. I mean, not. She. I only had her down there because she's blind and she wouldn't have known where to go. But... Uh, so are you... Are you really going to let me go? Or is this a charade? Give me the baby. <laughs> she turns towards Sarayan. Did your friend... Is your friend telling the truth? Um, she didn't really answer your question. Oh, I noticed. So if it's like... A, a, oh, a... sorry. Okay, I'll answer your question. I'm not gonna stop you. I've attempted to convince my comrades that I don't think there's a problem with you walking on out of here as long as we have your baby. I've made a perfect comrades clear what convinced. My stance is. I'm going to look at Talise. She hasn't given up the baby, so I'm not promising anything yet. I think that seems like a fair compromise. I don't care what she does, so long as she gives us the kid and she stays the hell away from Kaylin. Yes, that's a good caveat. Yeah, that too. You come anywhere near her and I'll cut you down. I've gotten really good at lobbing people's heads off. She gestures to a <laughs> beheaded. <laughs> Thank you. Fine. And she casually hands the baby to Sarayan. Oh. <clears throat> One hand just kind of. Oh, baby, that's a salad. It looks like a salad. <laughs> the baby looks like a salad. <laughs> it's, oh, it's all organic. It's a salad. Congratulations. It's all organic. Congratulations it on was your salad. All a ruse. It's um, a salad. <laughs> salad baby. <laughs> yum yum. No. <laughs> Am I free to go? Uh, uh yeah. Do you, do you need help, Saran? Uh, Are you okay? No, she starts I forgot walking how away. to hold babies. You go I'm anywhere near that girl. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna reach over. Do you do you mind? Do you mind? I want to do it. You read about <laughs> next time how to carry you. babies. The next I'm time in the we zone of you, truth. I want to do it. That's my truth. She starts to nestle the baby more appropriately into her arms. Into your cold armor? <laughs> she, Valid baby. She looks over her shoulder and the previous sort of hard, emotionless, glazed over look seems to have returned. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I say, the next time we see you, you'll die. Yes. Two I nods. can promise that. Your and baby continues. looks like an alien. <laughs> baby looks like a That's alien. how all babies look. That's creepy. Um, and then dives into the water. So oh we need to get back to the ship since somebody what? gave away where Kaylin is. It was the truth. Doesn't you didn't matter. Have to offer the information. Uh, Talisa's is gonna go running back to the ship immediately because that's a good point. <laughs> Someone needs to get the octopus. Just as um, a short little reminder here. I killed DM. it. I already did some of it. Not my job. Well, while all of this is happening, um, Melvin has sat down next to the unconscious talent and is ritual casting identify on his body. Ooh. Okay. Looking for any magical effects that are 
um, affecting him and hoping to find some way of reversing the effects of his fishification. Apprentice fish? A print, a print fish ship? A print print fish fish ship? Also, um, for what it's worth, Sarayan having heard Mariah call out about the bringing back the body of the Kraken priest. Be like, oh, well, I'm a lot stronger than you, and the, the body's heavier than the baby, so... And she tosses the baby. Literally. Oh tosses my the baby. god, okay. No, I'm just kidding, she does not! <laughs> like, she tosses the salad! I'm sorry, I gotta go. Uh, I was, tonight, but I was she going hands there. the baby over. Nobody <laughs> tosses a baby. Gestures to Prion. Respectfully hands the child over. But then... <laughs> Gestures of prayer. We have to get this. She I suppose points I can't in the direction defend it, and I'll just sort of comfort the baby. <laughs> hey, there, there. that Don't baby didn't crying. need comforting. She liked me. He questioned uh, it. Naris, <laughs> yes. as you're leaving, Nether reaches out and tries to grab your hand. Oh, yeah. Lord. Be very careful with Kaylin. Having your entire family slaughtered by righteous people can have a bad effect. Yeah, that's how I got made. Really? I'll be careful with her. She's not going anywhere and no one's going to hurt her either. She's not a damn sacrifice. <laughs> but uh, Nether begins a short rest. <laughs> I will let Saran deal with that body because I'm standing here guarding Melvin in case this one comes around okay anyone else so it sounds like it's our Talise and Inaris going uh Nene you can't take the boat fuck (laughs) I can't take the boat because we blew it up yeah, how are they going to get back if we go to the ship? There's only one boat. Meanwhile, well, then, sir, then you how stay do... here, or you can hold on while I swim out. I know, I know. That's just I know you don't like surf to do on that, top of but... Talise. It's fine. We've I didn't say before. surf. <laughs> don't stand on me. Just hold on. Just don't let me drown. Last time, last time I got, I last time. I know, I know. I remember, and I know you don't like it, but. He can't take the boat, so just it's not a long it's not long, okay? Just it's go fast and I if, if I get water up my nose again. I know. <laughs> you and your nose. I got it. Okay. My nose. I imagine nose, that Sarayan has like fireman is fireman holding the Kraken priest and is like lumbering back towards the ship. Like a bag sure. of potatoes. Yep. You see, uh, while you're doing this, you see Melvin has got his book out and he is um, touching the uh, unconscious form of Talon Chandler and casting a spell. And I, ha- I have been since um, Sarayan first cast yeah. Zone of Truth, so it should go off. Okay, like, with that conversation, um, he as you're lugging it back, Melvin kind of um, releases the touch on the creature. Melvin... Um, there is um there is no persistent magical effect on this creature however uh make an intelligence check just a straight intelligence roll um that's a 17 total 17 so you you would know though with studies and how the identify works and how types of creatures work um if you had cast this on a werewolf per se or something like that you would also get that same effect um some things are affected by magic but once the effect is complete the magic doesn't linger it has been magically transformed and it, it wouldn't be um, revealed by an identify. It's not an ongoing magical effect. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'm just kind of 
sitting up on the cliff. All right. Sir, madam, can't tell. Figure that out later. We got the octopus? She did okay. refer to the child as a he. He did? Okay, I don't know if I missed that. <laughs> All right, sir. <laughs> Welcome to the team. Not sure I asked what her name was. I don't think I know your name. That's okay. We'll come up with one later. <sighs> I'll go sit down next to another. Find again. Are we going to search the rest of this island? <sighs> We're taking a breather. Uh, but yeah, we should see whether that place where they, you know, popped out from is accessible. Hi. Uh... Another? You mean the ocean? But like, if there's like a specific, like you know, like, is there a specific place where they go in the ocean? Maybe underground or something, or maybe there's an underwater cave, or, um, you know, where where the fishification takes place, as opposed to just you know, water in general. Like, what's special about the water here? So, so you want to go underwater and like, like swim, swim around down there and, and like uh, get stuck in Priyan an underwater cave or something. I am Melvin. Don't get in because of twist. First. Melvin is starting to hyperventilate. Oh. Melvin, you don't have to go. Let me, let you me take, take a breather. I've got to hammer some dents out of my armor. And I'm oh, gonna okay. like just start working on my armor hammer at the dents, <laughs> and take a short Ryan rest. Because I was battered. dumped the body on the deck of the ship. Um, Nether. How long does it take for your little friend to reappear? He's still here, just taking a little nap of his own. Um. I think I should rest for a while and then yeah. and then concentrate. And I think maybe he'll he'll come back. Yeah. About two hours. I mean, you know, with the dearth of fish people, this is actually quite a nice little little patch of grass. It is. Feels nice. Ain't no chateau though. <laughs> Might have been metaphorical, Prion. <laughs> Maybe it's an underground one. Mm. That's what I was thinking. I'm still... When I'm done resting, I can go check, but... What about tying this mm. one up? Oh, you haven't done that already. I oh. thought you'd done that already. <laughs> He's old. I you can stick definitely do it. I'll tie him up. Okay. Are you taking him with you as well? Well, we're just resting here at the moment, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, and just to confirm, is Talise swimming back to the ship? Dragging an ungrateful Nene with her. Okay, so you are... Splitting the party. Interesting. What's that? Oh, no. So we are splitting the party. <laughs> they said they were doing... They're sharks. Y'all were freaking out, so we went to make sure. Yeah. I blame y'all. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, um, no. <laughs> what shit's about to hit the fan? So, and you're oh, just shit. you're just kind of pulling Nene along while she like treads water and like yeah. I. She's fine. Okay. She's holding. She's like holding on to my belt, and I'm doing all the pulling. Okay. Yeah, it takes you really little, safe. Takes you a little while to get out there. Um, what's your strength, uh, Talise? Unlimited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, unlimited, unlimited power. power. <laughs> this has happened now. Somehow in... every game. Yes, I know. I, like, <laughs> I, mean, I, like, I, I resisted. I resisted thinking. when she cast Call Lightning. <laughs> Yeah. But she, I can't, I, I'm sorry. And earlier when yeah, I set I you up for it. I definitely saw your face like perk up I love too. it. Um, 
We already had high ground references, so it's not. I'm a walking yeah, prequel yeah. meme. That's fine. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> we should like at least one from every movie, every game. Um, it, if so you want to like, that. I have a 14 strength. Um, ein plus two. Okay, hauling your uh, half elven friend then is going to be a little bit difficult. Um, please make an. DM says, check. "Change your mind and stay on the stay on the island." What what am I checking? Haven't you noticed? Inaris and Talise don't change their minds. <laughs> no, I'm just I have <laughs> it's A Team 2.0. You guys were freaking out, so um, we went to make sure it's fine. Yes, athletics oh, check, please. Freaking out. Athletics, but okay. With advantage, of course. Nope. Oh, nope. Talise. Oh, okay. You, I got a dirty twenty. You, um, your arms are very sore, but you managed to um, get Inaris to the ship. We will. Um, pick up to uh, what you find there in a second. Um, the rest of oh, you, no. short resting okay. here. Um, obviously, you'll have the time to short rest. Um, you see the ship off in the distance. And that's about it. You have the unconscious bound form of Talon and um, then the deceased form of the Kraken Priest there in the boat. Is there anything else you wish to do while on this island? Once on this island. On this island. Yeah. Um, Sarayan, during this short rest period, would definitely go over to Melvin and say, I, I noticed that you were, you were taking notes over, over Talon. Um, what, what did you find out? Um, well, unfortunately, it's not like it's not like there's an ongoing effect on him or anything, so we couldn't just like dispel the effects of the fishiness. Um, it seems like it's kind of innate, like he's been fundamentally transformed in some way into a part fish, part man. Wow. So. I'm not sure how we're going to be able to undo that, if what, that's even possible. Would I have ever encountered anything like this before, DM? In my years of study. <laughs> so In erudite. In your years of study. <laughs> um, I have a lot object. of theoretical knowledge. I object! Uh... Interesting. Um, <laughs> uh, either of you can make an Arcana check. I, I'm going to guess Melvin has a higher. Uh, it's a plus ten for me. Jeez. Yeah, it's it's roughly a plus zero for me. So I'm going to let you uh, let you go ahead. You can go ahead and roll, Serene. Are you proficient? Uh, in Arcana, lol, no. Okay, so you can't um, assist. That's fine. No, it is literally a plus zero for me. <laughs> Let's see what I get. Um... Hmm. Fifteen. Okay. So Rand's not rolling. Oh. I guess I could. It would just be. Please. You guys are talking about this. I was just curious. Sure. If you yeah. Roll, yeah. Roll, no, I'll do. I'll do it. Um, um, I I rolled a, thir a thirteen. Between the two of you, as you're talking, um, you know that hybrids of various types are possible. They exist. Uh, um, but I mean, this particular iteration, not something you have you can recall having read about. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's puzzling. Um, and Sarayan, these are not among the known enemies of the Triton, like yeah, the, the Sahuagin and the other types of creature. These are not the um, forces that you typically go to war to oppose. So. Okay. 
Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can I take a gander at that? Just out of curiosity. Kind of at what? I, I, at the surge, because I've Have you I've been, been eavesdropping? Well, not necessarily eavesdropping, but I've been I've been kind of on my own Mariah. little like I've been on my own little like thought island of like, is this baby a fish baby? On this thought island. Yes. On um, this thought island. <laughs> Underneath um, the water yes. now. What mother hasn't asked that question? Now though? through night's caressing grip you is may that make why a car they all a check. Is this baby a like fish baby? Aliens? <laughs> Except for Zelda, really? objectively the only baby that it's doesn't true. look She's like an alien. It's true. She's fucking adorable. Yes. Yeah. It's n so with a nineteen, Mariah. You, it's you're so close to tying something together. Ah, titties. <laughs> Is, Is it titties? Not quite. <laughs> Is, that, <laughs> Is that what we're doing this episode? <laughs> okay. Like the the very guys. last, oh, the very warning. last bit of that thought and an train, adult. and she gets distracted, and then, then. <laughs> and an adult. That's an easier thing to think about. <laughs> anyway. What are you why thinking Mariah about so that. loudly, Mariah? <laughs> That's why Mariah has that book in her cabin. Oh come Everything on, we all so knew Mariah was a freak. <laughs> Captain looks very pensive. Wonder what wisdom's about to come out next. <laughs> Titties. Ah, titties. Uh, I love our captain. Saran's like, know where it's at? T I D D or T T? It's, it's interchangeable. Oh. Well, I suppose the, the D D is um, more yeah. pictographically appropriate. Ah, uh, yes, for science. <sighs> As a scientist, All I approve right. of this. <laughs> so, is a scientist and she approves this message. Please feel free to have, um, if you have not already officially taken the short rest, please do so. Nothing will disturb you quite. And then at the does end of that short want... rest. Oh, does uh, anyone want a, a, a song of rest while we're here? Just please. Heather is going to take yeah. out a, a waterproof pouch she has that has a pinch of incense in it, and she's going to um, burn it and then con close her eyes and start trying to coax Doll to come back into the prime material plane. A, the smoke starts to coalesce in front of you, and as the very millisecond the figure resurfaces, a little fake creature punches you in the nose. <laughs> What's the song of rest do again? Uh, you, if you're spending hit dice um, on the short rest, you get an additional d6 to roll. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Now, all right. What do you sing about, Mariah? Ten. Oh, wow, you really caught me off guard there. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready. I was getting, I was like settling in to enjoy that for a second. Um, so each hit sec. dice or just the once? You don't have to I... sing it. I'm just, what, what do you sing about? Yeah. Just once, Jake. Just once. Um, it's uh, very, very quietly, almost such that the lyrics are a little hard to hear because I'm not being particularly precise with my diction. Um, Nether probably hears a little bit of it um, as something actually about a woman. It's sort of hard to pick Did out. Did you the just details. say titties? <laughs> not in the lyrics, but no. <laughs> Because it really sounded like that line right there you're saying was titties. Titties. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It was. It was Saray. No, my mistake. Oh, uh, if it were Saray. <laughs> titties. <laughs> wow. Sounds a little mournful. It's not singer. about titties, unfortunately. Right that that would be a different kind of. Beat. I have degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Liberal arts degree. Oh, yeah. years years. How many years of music education between this group? It's uh, oh, it's my ridiculous. How <laughs> so much? Yeah, it's oh. Ridiculous. It's obscene I mean, amount, is what it I mean. really is. 
a lot oh, of wow. <laughs> I've listened to music for 44 <laughs> years. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that counts. Um, at the end of our short rest, um, Melvin will cast um, Water Breathing on the group. Oh. Nice. Thanks, kid. Does That's Water hitting. Breathing have an effect on people who don't need it? Yeah, you can't breathe now. <laughs> it does not, yeah. What are we going to do with this one? Check him on the boat. We'll lock him in the brig. We should definitely take him to see some holy person or other. Should we go back to the boat the first and make sure Anaris is not okay? Um... Make sure well, the kids actually, okay. before we before we go, um, could you or Sarayan just take a quick little peeky poo down um, sure. where the fish men were coming out? I want to see if there's anything down there. I don't know what a peeky poo is. A look. A look. Oh, Melvin, write that down. Okay. <laughs> Julie. Command note. Julie. <laughs> take this thing. <laughs> Looking around the the rock. Oh, the thing. Yeah. In the lagoon area where they were all coming out of, where yeah. we saw them go down into... Yeah. A... Um, make a uh, investigation check. God. Well, <laughs> if you're looking... So, I guess it, it depends. Uh, if you're just taking, taking in the scenery, make a perception check. If you're looking for something uh, more specific, it would be investigation. Secret tunnel. Well, I was tunnel. going to be looking for any entrances. Ooh, and stuff. The that would um, be it. More investigation. Oh shit! I almost fell off my shirt. No. Um, I, I'm, I apologize, Peter, but the um, effect of my water breathing. Um, I pull out a small piece of paper and hold it up, mm -hmm. and um, you see as it starts to go sort of translucent, as if it is getting wet, oh. and then it. Um, breaks off into little strips which fly to each of the people I am casting it on and pastes over their mouth. And oh, that's cool. Whoa. I was hoping you were gonna just run up to everyone and viciously paper cut their necks to give them gills. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> I thought you were gonna make little snorkels out of rolled up paper. <laughs> so many options. So I was like, these are all great. Well, it had to be something that has range because uh, it's not. It doesn't have to be a touch range. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? Right, maybe everyone... maybe he'll go down that route later in the game, Peter. If he like gets if if he gets like a little screwy in the brain. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. It's a little too aggressive for him at the moment. I, I would think so. He doesn't seem very aggressive. All right, Prion, have you? Uh... I haven't rolled yet. What do I do? Investigation at a minus one or perception. Perception. Perceive for oddities. I will perceive for oddities, and I'm going to use my inspiration. Because I've got one. Don't oh. fuck it up. I rolled a two, and then I looked at the other one. It was a Kraken. So 26. Ooh. Second one of the night. Isn't that what you were rolling earlier, though? A Kraken and then two twos? I rolled a Kraken and then two twos, yeah. So what's so your total on the all perception? All I've rolled is Krakens and twos. Um, I rolled a 26, a Kraken. 26. So looking around the way, the slope of this place and the surrounding subnautical geography, um, it is an anomaly in the area. It's not a typically rocky area. This seems that it was perhaps once, um, this is a volcanic rise in the ocean. And as such, you see enormous stretches of the rock below which sort of seem to catch a glint of light um, there are huge deposits and veins and um, almost an entire side of the um, sort of uh, underwater mountain here is made of obsidian and it is <clears throat> all of it definitely a volcanic formation You do not see any um, obvious doors or um, passageways that would lead to any sort of cave or anything like that. 
Oh, I bet we need that damn thing. You mean the rock? Yeah. Hmm. Are we carrying that? Maybe. What about Sir Ryan? Did you see anything? Well, if you didn't see anything with a twenty-six, yeah. it's not. Yeah, I done. Per I done yeah, perception. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't go. Oh, I thought I you went. Thought... Okay, so it was just me. No, I thought that you were capable. Um, well, we we do have a rock. Presumably, do we want to. We could just open that can of worms. We could just take the octopus down with us. It has an. It has one of those rocks inside, right? That's a fair point. Very smart. What a brain you got there, kiddo. What about the other two? Ooh. The ones that run off by themselves all the time? <laughs> they went back to check on the girl. Probably Speaking not of... Oh, the ones that are scary. Oh, no. <laughs> Speaking of... <clears throat> Uh, Talise, Inaris, yes. you are swimming your way up, and as you come up onto the ship, you hear a bit of commotion, shouting, um, and uh, maybe a bit of a scuffle. The crew is um, all yelling one to another. It seems they have formed two um, groups on either side of the deck they're pointing fingers yelling it is very hard to understand but you can also see um on one side sort of bound held with her arms behind her back it looks painfully tight the way they're holding her back is kaylin um it seems she's being restrained by some of them and there is this sort of back and forth shouting happening between the crew oh. Wir haben einen großen Kehle gemacht. As soon as we're within 60 feet, uh, oh, no. I'm going to cast Eyes of the Grave. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> so you can sense the presence of any undead, yeah? Yes. Uh, you detect none in the area. Okay, just, just in case. The and they don't really even regard you as they as you um, come on board. It's just an immense amount of shouting. A couple of them almost have weapons drawn. They're not pointing them directly, threatening each other. But there is some chaos aboard the ship at the moment. Okay, uh, I'm gonna hand. I have a potion of healing that I'm gonna give to Nene, and then okay. I'm gonna like walk forward. And are there like any two like? ringleader types yes there are two of them certainly um but i would like to approach at least one of them maybe both where's the captain what's going on on that damned island well as your quartermaster you can talk to me instead of the captain first of all and then what's going on on that island is that we just took care of one of those horrible octopus priests you're welcome and we huh. killed everybody on there that was fighting against us. So what the hell is going on? Quartermaster, huh? And yeah. uh, please make an intimidation check. For that. Which I have a plus zero. But I am the quartermaster. I got a 12. <laughs> okay. Um... Inaris, he seems to back off just a little bit. Do you do anything at this point? Uh, can I chug my health potion? You can, but besides that, the other <laughs> side seems to not be placated. Um, and you see that the ship is on borderline mutiny. What the absolute hell is going on? Okay, one of the other ones approaches you and says, um, We found this girl you brought on, fondling some sort of foul trinket. You're not supposed to bring on these types of things to ships. It's a foul omen. The way she was looking at it like she was affected by it. 
Okay, first of all, you're gonna need to take three steps back. So we took it from her. What? Who are you to tell me to step back? I've been on ships like uh... this for 25 years, most of my life. <laughs> you're part of our crew. I don't need you in my face. Second of all... <laughs> it's exactly like that. Yeah, that! Yeah, <laughs> what she said! Yeah! Second of all, you're causing a hell of a commotion on a ship that is... As soon as the captain gets back, she's going to be pissed. What exactly are you... What, what item? Kaylin. She's kind of being held back. Let her go. Uh, it's... They're like, make an intimidation check in Eris. Intimidation. Got this. <laughs> Oh, 16. Wow. Intimidation. Okay. Um, do you yelling? have a, a role aboard the ship, Inaris? I'm trying to remember if you had been an established one. Surgeon, I think? Surgeon, yeah. Or, Dragon. Oh, okay. Buddy. Got it. You hear a bit of a there's a bit of a flutter and without with only two officers aboard and with this conundrum happening um the the voices do not quiet down so much but they also do not get worse one of the two of you please roll a d20 do you, do you want to do it or do you want me to do it i can i can do it with my nice special kraken <laughs> Land on unless it gets me a low score I'll, I'll be sad then you'll put it in prison. Okay. You I are, I will this. say your crew quality is currently four and you're aiming for a 15. Okay. okay. So you have a plus four to hit a 15. Wait, uh, does Nene have inspo? Yes. Do you want to roll it with inspo? <laughs> for the or can crew we not roll, you can, I guess I'm like, can we give the inspiration to the crew? Um, Oh, it was a roll for the crew. Yeah, it's not you rolling something. Um, sure, yes. Do, do you want me to do it with use the inspiration? Yes, please. On it. Okay, so d20. And then, so I'll just roll two. Eight. No, no I missed 17, because that, that one doesn't count. Good thing, too. Um... Nice. Nice. 21 total. Yeah. Well, that is a success. Um, wow. We are at sort of an equal standing, but you have uh, the argument will continue, but will not get worse. Um. As you demand answers, you hear a lot of circular explanations and such. But between just the two of you arriving sooner, the conflict between the crew has not escalated, nor has the crew quality decreased with that success. So, Aha. very good, the two of you. Um, the rest of you rowing out will then encounter the same thing. And you will see the crew kind of divided between two ends of the ship with Talise holding one end down, yelling at a couple crew members and Inaris at one end yelling at the other half. And that is what you see this maw of um, sailors just up in arms, um, screaming at each other. Um, almost looks like a uh, boarding action ready to happen, but on the same ship. Um, <laughs> climb up onto the ship, take very, very brief stock of the situation, and then press one side of the baby's head into my shoulder and covering its ear with one other hand. <laughs> what in the hell are you scurvy dogs doing on my ship? Cool your heads. Told you. The orphan saver, Mariah. I, I, was, I was the first one to, to hold the orphan for what it's worth. Noted. Eat the room. All right. And no, one final one. Mariah, please make a intimidation check. 
was with advantage. <laughs> and I aid her as the oh. first mate. You may make your own check. All right. I think that baby's intimidating enough. <laughs> Salad baby. Right. I'm real Salad baby's my, uh, intimidating enough. Uh, uh, 18 on the okay. intimidation. All right, well then, it feels like she's pretty intimidating, so I won't roll. Okay. <laughs> With that, um, the crew conflict has been... Um, subsided, and you're able to determine that a group of them did indeed see Kaelin sort of sitting in a corner, looking at that sort of squid-like pendant carved of obsidian that had a skull in the middle of it that made them very, very, very uneasy. Um, the group that is um, restraining her took it from her and um, told her to stop basically messing with this thing is clearly it's a bad omen and she was very upset about this um and they ended up restraining her and questioning her about what it was and there was a small brawl that happened and some in favor of her took back the trinket and that is the group in favor of kaylin and the group that sort of has her taken captive um so that is the two groups at the moment um but they release her, they disperse. One of them walks up to you, Mariah, and hands you the trinket. I will take it with a gloved hand. Okay. And I will pass it, uh, suggesting caution and maybe not bare hands to Melvin. I'll hold my book out, open to a leaf to okay. accept it. Put it down <sighs> there. Close the book most of the way. Hold it. Can I? Hey, Kaylin, that's mine. I. I know. We've got a little bit of a situation. We need to make sure that no one's passions get relit here. We want to make sure that everyone stays safe. That includes you, but that means that we need to know what the full situation is here. Okay, come into the captain's quarters here. We're gonna have a little chat. Oh, we'll bring the whole group in. Okay. And you all sort of retreat under. Order is restored. Yeah. Okay. Well, as we go, we go on, obviously, I was standing, obviously, because we had a father who's tied up, knitted and stuff, and I would have put a bag yeah. over his head. Um, okay. I'm going to escort him to the brig quickly. <clears throat> Stick him in there. All right. And then under I'll... lock and key, lock there's and key. Um, man there are um, steel manacles as well that can hold him, and there are no... Feels like there's very little chance of him escaping. All right. Melvin, when you have a sec, can you tell us what this wonderful little piece of jewelry is? Can, can I take my time or do you need to know right now? Uh, I don't know. How do we feel about the we'll tastiness of the situation, guys? Let's take get a back. drink and some food. Take your time. All right. All right. Oh, by the way, uh, here's your cousin. Just for the record. Did you bring on any claw wine? Hey, can I see him? Sure. What's his name, she, by the way? He, he hasn't been named yet. Usually they do that on the way to the chateau. That's what I've ah. heard. Okay. Um, Why don't we give him a once over first? I did want An to kind of- medic? Yeah, let's I mean, let's he's, get some... he's been fine. I I know he's had an experience though. So. Okay. Maybe maybe a, a Nene and Talise can have a sort of joint look over the baby. You leave him alone with the baby. Yeah, I'll I'll take the baby. You know, we we won't do anything serious. <laughs> Oh, well, can I be there? Oh, can I? I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, no, it, 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 literally right over there, and I'm just yeah, like, I'm point out, just, point of my yeah. bed. Yeah, Go ahead, just right there. Same room. You can come and stand with us. I don't even need you to let go of the baby. So if I was just gonna hold the baby, but I'd prefer know. that. And she will go with you. Me? I'll start and... ritual casting, identify on the thing. Okay. While they're doing that, doesn't it take like a hot second for you to do that? Ten minutes. 
spells. No, you don't like hot hot cast ritual spells? I can do it once per day. That's oh, why I was asking right. whether you needed it done right away. I got, well, got, got that some, confused with hard casting. I've got some drinks and some food. And oh I'll, my god, please. And I'll bring some back. All right. right. Yeah. I'll even make some hot drinks. Did you did you hear me ask about the claw wine? Oh, uh, I might have a bottle here somewhere. I'm gonna I go rummaging around in my chest. Here, there's I like a one-third full <laughs> bottle of claw wine. I'll pass it off to <laughs> Simeon. Oh, thanks. Mariah, please be very careful with how you handle this. It's very personal to me. Which part of it? Kaylin. The her knowing the scope of the situation part? That's right. I'll be delicate. Unless you would rather have a go at it. No. Just be careful. Okay. I'll do my best. Those of you examining the child, what are you hoping to discover? Hurts. Gills? Gills. Gills, a tail. Is the baby baby a fish baby? (laughs) Find out tonight. That is the eternal question. Okay, make Uh, a medicine check. Which way does it transform when you move the legs and stuff? (laughs) You have to you have to pull on the the left pinky. Oh my. Um, Oh my. He's just good. Anaris, um, it looks like a normal baby. <laughs> Ew, it's all pink. <laughs> um, it's an little... alien. Have you not got guidance, Talise? Could I? Uh, well, we didn't let me get to that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, I was sitting here like, uh... I believe in you and your knowledge of fishification. <laughs> I mean, I believe in me and my knowledge of uh, no, have uh, to take a bardic inspiration. Bardic inspiration. I just sang at you. It's fine. Did I just did I just nudge Mariah as Kinda well then? Accidentally. I was gonna have see a if D8 I could on like... your roll. Yay! Actually. If I could pray over the baby and see if there's like any. That sounds wrong. I can't think of the right word now that I'm trying to describe what I actually want to do, but see if I can like sense any strange pull. Sense. Mutations. <laughs> I've been, so I've you're actually more, said the word mutant a lot today, and I, if didn't, I didn't want physical to Physical examination is more going to be medicine, but um, yeah. okay. if you would like to do something more spiritual in the examination, you could do um, you could do religion. That's that's what I was thinking that I'd wanted to do. Is this a fish baby? <laughs> oh. oh, man. I was about to say. Get, get, uh. Kills on the baby's Give neck. Give a D8 if you want to use it. <laughs> Is it a real copy? My... Well, you can wait until after you roll. <laughs> I know. All right, organ him, everyone. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Gonna get a D8 with it. Save me, Kraken D8. Uh oh. Did you guide Ow! yourself as well? She didn't. I said it. Did you it said, not go? You did say you were going to guide yourself. Oh, did you say you were yeah. guiding yourself? Yeah. Okay. Because I said that I had I had faith in myself. All right. Roll a D4 and a D8. A D4 and a D8. Oh, See if we can rescue this. Don't eight. roll one. Don't roll one. Thank you. We'll be calling you the guy. I rolled. I rolled a one. <laughs> And an eight. Oh, okay. So, 17. 17. Not too shabby. Uh, a very slight hint of something fishy. Apparent, <laughs> maybe, um, about this child. I knew it. Though, my little fishy. Though, Oh, nigh imperceptible. Oh, the, and this, and, um, like just the sort of the way it squirms edges. when when you oh. whisper some of your prayers, but know. only briefly. Um, it seems uh, that yeah, that's about it. In about twenty years, I'll be able to write a book on how to raise a fish baby child. <laughs> that's that's a bestseller right there. Uh, All the rage in Neverwinter. <laughs> um, Kayleen, th- 
thanks. You you can take your cousin now. We're going to go back and join the group. You can just stay here on the bed and you, you guys can be comfy. That's fine. But Nene, did the you captain still has has my things that, that were stolen from me. That's, that's what I mean. Like, you, you just stay here in this room. Like you know that literally we're like ten feet apart. Yeah, <laughs> like, we're like in the same in the same space. space. Yeah. So I, like you just stay right here. Okay. We're but like, take care of your cousin. Thanks. I appreciate yeah, it. I don't I'm need right anything here. else from you right now. Cool. Cool. Thanks. Awesome. We're done Maybe. here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks. You know time. I'm a sailor too, right? I you don't have to I don't really care at this point. It's it's huh. fine. I mean, it's great, but I need you to, like, stay in the room so that we can figure something out so that we don't let you go back out. You just have to say that. I mean, I thought I did, but that's okay. You just stay right there. Um, how, how'd you do on those, uh, those, those words I gave you? You gave her words. The drow language plant pamphlet that yes. Nene clearly has written up and ready to give to people at all. <laughs> she had one that she was writing for Talise. Drow how was witness. She um <laughs> Whoa, was She looks at Talise and makes a derogatory comment for a cleric that uh, is in the drow language. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, very nice. You don't know what she's. You said. know drow. <laughs> Know what First she of all, said. I'm saying that it's not very nice because you don't look nice when you're saying it. Vicar. Like, um. oh. <laughs> Better be talking about Geraldine and nobody else. Okay, you know what? All right, just... If I if I could make a suggestion, um, maybe we should all leave and let Mariah handle this. Well, I need it's not the sort of conversation that needs lots of people. I need to talk to Mariah. The rain is V not down there, so. <laughs> I'm getting food and drinks at the moment. I don't mind peacing out. I'm really tired. My arms hurt. I had to carry somebody over to the ship. I just, I need to talk to Mariah for like mm, What's up? What's up? What's up? Um, Mariah, uh, just going to pull her a little bit away from Kaylin. Boop. Um, so, yeah, we, we looked at the baby and there's something not quite right Damn. i don't know what but there is something <laughs> not normal baby i i mean I, it, I, it did get plunged into the water along with a bunch of other fish people i presumed there was something ritualistic going on there so i'm not i surprised. was kind of hoping that i I, like I was kind of hoping that I yeah, no that no I'd be no wrong I, I guess I yeah the same, you know. and like no it's confirmed that there's something yeah. super wrong. So anyway, just wanted to let you know. Thanks. And we're gonna head out. Mm, have a drink on me. I will give you some drink. food okay. and drinks. That's oh my god. You can. <laughs> and Aris will say to Caleb, "You can trust Mariah. She's a good captain." Hey, anybody. That I know. Nether's gonna step out and leave Doll in the room and go sit someplace quietly on board the ship. Okay. A I'm tea, gonna go find biscuits. my bed and take a short rest. Oh, yeah. Prion's just a coming a up from the here. galley <laughs> with a bunch tea of food and be like, oh, oh. <laughs> How wonderfully British. Have a tea party on the deck. <laughs> Sausage, Do you have any tomatoes, cream? it's coming home. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> it's coming home. Um, I'll, I'll look to Melvin, uh, see how he's doing. Still ritual casting, presumably. I'll take a seat. Yeah, he's he probably time, so... got five minutes to go. Okay. I'll take a he seat can and move, have a sip but of tea. he just has to carry oh, yeah, it. We... I, I don't, I don't want to make her more uncomfortable by having it out of her sight. Um, what's, so... What's he doing to... He's examining it. He's a wizard. Yeah. He has a way of understanding how items that are potentially imbued with magical powers work. And I want to make sure that we, that means you, me, the rest of my crew, are making as informed a decision as possible. Which means we need to know exactly what that thing is. I'm currently okay. making little origami replicas of the 
the thing <laughs> out of little scraps of paper. That's he's a very serious wizard. I like I serious like the magic happening here. Yeah, with origami. Okay. I like that you do the game, you know, with the the paper thing, <laughs> where you just do yeah. that over and over again and open <laughs> it up and be like, nope, is it a b da da da. Conjuration? No. But, 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 but. <laughs> I just. <laughs> Mariah. What is that called? I don't even know what that what that thing is called. But anyway. Um, is he, is he actually year old casting girl? a spell or is he playing games? I'm not. I'm not sure. Magic manifests in <clears throat> so many different ways. So, Kaylin then asks, "What? Okay. Um, what about we 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 sailed here to save someone? A, a babe? A child? Did you did you do that?" Was that? I point down to the baby that she is holding. Who, who took her? Her mother. Elsie. Elsie boarded a ship, along with Talon, and the wife whose name I definitely wrote down. Hold on, <laughs> Gria. Um, with my mom and dad. Yes. They all boarded a ship along with some other crew and came out here to the chateau. The, what do you mean? I don't see... She's kind of looking out a window. Mm -hmm. We haven't been able to do potentially more thorough investigation of that little outcropping of land. Chance that there's more that meets the eye. But it's clear that the use of the word chateau is not necessarily literal. I'm I'm confused. I did I, I, we haven't had a lot of chance to <sighs> speak one on one. Most of your interactions have been with some of my crew. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you know about your family? What do you mean what I know about my family? They're my family. I mean, they're... It's like... It's... They can be a little cold and stuck up at times, but they're... They've always cared for me and kept me safe, and mm -hmm. I kind of want to get the hell away from them for a while, but uh, they're, I mean, we're, we outfit ships, we, we, we make equipment for ships, that's what we've always done. You've never seen anything that, I don't know, made you question what was going on? Uh... I don't get, I, I never understood why I didn't get to leave, mm. but everyone comes back and says that it's not as great as it's made out to be, so Does everyone I figured come it, back? huh? Does everyone come back? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. At some point. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm really confused. You saw my, you saw my mom and dad out there where, well, are they still there? Your dad's below in the brig. Excuse what? In the brig? I'm going to tell you everything and I'm going to explain and I need you as best as you are able. All right? To hear out everything. To not judge before you hear the whole story. Yeah. Okay? Well, I have, just, I have one second. One, one second, though. Where's 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 my mom? Your parents attacked us, along with a swarm of others who were transformed, and we had to do the utmost to defend ourselves. No. Kaylin the whole story it is painful 
to hear the truth sometimes, but you need to hear it. Okay. <sighs> she kind of puts her hands up around her head and she looks at the um at the the talisman and she says uh, her you can tell that she's starting to just withdraw borderline going into shock and she says please just give give it to me and take me home i just want to go home this is a mistake just Kaylin, I'm going to very slowly reach out. I'm not going to touch her if she shies away. I'm okay. Hold my hand out. All right. Make a persuasion check, Mariah. Oh, boy. Okay. Don't... 16. Okay. There are tears beginning to stream down her cheeks, but she turns and looks at you. Eventually, one way or another, we all end up having to face hard truths in our lives. It's inevitable. No one lives a perfect life. And at least in my experience, more often than not, people face tragedy manyfold. And you've arrived at a point in your life where you're facing a sea change. A point where you must make a decision for how to proceed in spite of tragedy. Do not let that consume you. We will do everything in our power to help you. You made a strong first impression on some of my friends. And they care for you. But we can't protect you from the truth. So just... Tell me then. Do me the favor of doing it plainly. And in short, I explained to her that in the past, the Chandlers had a relationship with the Prime Water family, and that together they seemed to have struck a deal with some sort of. I suspect, underwater, unnatural entity that requires from them a sacrifice. And that this entity communes with them through strange artifacts. And I indicate my fear that her amulet may be one of them. And for at least the Chandlers, and others of their ilk, it seems that they, instead of, aside from their sacrifices, change. And I tell her that at least when we took her father in, he was changed. I don't know if he remains so now, but we can try to show her with him and that there were no other survivors beyond her father, Elsie, who we let go, and the baby, who seems to have a mild amount of aberrant nature that we wish to save it from. And that as far as we can tell from the timeline, she was meant to be sacrificed. Okay. She takes all of this in and at one point still supporting the baby, but she kind of collapses down yep. to the corner. 
and is silent for a while before asking, will you bring me, bring me my other things? I'll head over the door and ask someone to uh, go fetch her stuff from down below. There's in particular a box that she had brought, that she had stowed away with, or not stowed away with, but um, that she had stolen from her house. Um, bringing it, remaining in there is simply a compass and a marlin spike, which is a um, sort of it's what it sounds like, a, a spike used to splay rope and do different knots and different nautical ties and stuff. So she will sit there, put the marlin spike at her side, and she will just sit there for a moment and open the compass and begin sort of talking softly to the child. Um, hard for you to hear, but... Um, I just sit close and I just keep an eye on her. Okay. Yeah, I'm currently in there as well. I, did, I wasn't um, asked to leave the room. I didn't. I was out of the room Everyone, the time. Everyone left the room. Yeah, we would have told you not to go in. Oh, yeah. I went in with food. Okay. I wouldn't have been there. Then. I think I actually the only just... person who was still in there was Melvin because he was still casting. So at some point he will finish up and we learn. Um, Melvin, you've learned that if this were to be cast into the sea um, at a point of enough, enough depth that there is a enormous amount of energy that would sort of send out a beacon you can hear it and you, you hear the message but it's garbled in your brain it is intense and piercing it's as if you're reading language written across your book that is five different languages but the script is all just written on top of one another impossible for you to piece apart and decipher at the moment yet somehow that language is put into sound and running through your ears and whatever this language is would be sent out in every direction for fathoms and fathoms and fathoms a beacon um well don't get it wet uh, <laughs> it's an you, understatement oh that you say that about everything it's true i do you're not here <laughs> that was that was a shot question a comment um well if you if you were to drop this into the ocean it would send out a message to something I don't know what though, and I can't really understand the message. It's kind of garbled. Um, I think so long as you don't hop into the ocean while wearing this, you're fine to have it back. Kaylin. She kind of looks up and her eyes are a little bit distant, a little bit vacant at the moment. She said, I was, when the crew stopped me, I was I know we could see land, but it was what they, my parents raised me with. I was supposed to cast it into the water on my first voyage when no mm -hmm. land was in sight. It was, yeah. it was a tradition. M Mar Maria, I think that would summon the big... Yep tentacly thing that took down the other ship. I think you're Summoned right about the that, Melvin. <sighs> Were you planning on casting it out? I was probably going to ask permission. I it's kind of a, I thought it was kind of a, a coming of age thing. I hmm. Well, it, ironically it is, but <sighs> Unfortunately, the people that do that don't tend to survive it. Okay. I don't understand any of this. I'm just going to take care of him. Focus on that. It's good to have something to do in times like this. 
and she goes mostly quiet. The um, rest of you can regroup if you wish. Yeah. I I I'll, will tell her as as Melvin and I um, start to we'll give her a little bit of space, but I'll I'll say if you want to stay in here, you can. Heather comes up to Mariah when she I'd comes like out with, with yeah. green tears and she just gives you a big hug and she whispers thank you give you a hug back yeah should we go and question someone oh sure. yeah we have fish daddy to deal with um, I'm not sure he's going to want to talk to us but probably not that's another creature we can take back to um, that wizard guy as well as the other. Maybe he can yeah, check should, out both. We should make a heading back for Salt Marsh, get the octopus to our wizard friend ASAP. Did, Are we did sure you, there's nothing here? I mean, there was something there was weird. weird yellow. Yellow. More? There was Are something you very sure? weird. Well, I suspect there is something there. I'm worried both about the octopus thing, but also the longer we have Kaylin out on the water, the more chance for some bullshit to happen where, unlikely as it may be, that necklace ends up in the water and we get tentacled to death. That's very bad, but Nether I... leans in. She says, they, the crew made sail. We've gone out and we've got God, nothing to show for it. it. Yeah, fuck. Um, I haven't given the necklace back yet. I'm still holding on to it, just I so you know. definitely meant for you to give, to give it back to her when we were still in there. Would you have fought me on that? It does not seem like she wants it back. I thought she did. Peter, can you weigh in on this? Because maybe... It's... Uh, after you... the explanation, she's... It's almost like it hasn't sunk completely in, but she's just out of sheer necessity, out of shock, has numbed herself to all of this. And so she is not asking for it back. And if you um, if you mention it to her, she will just kind of look at it, up at it for a moment and then just look back down to the child and continue okay. caring for the child. Then how about you hold on to that for a little bit? Why don't we put it in the chest in your room? Lock okay. it up. That, that way it me. can't accidentally end up in the water. Okay. Unless, you know, the whole ship goes down or right. something. Uh, out of curiosity, Melvin, um, was your ability to identify its properties specific enough to know whether the necklace itself needs to hit the water or whether it can be contained in something that is waterproof. And if it hit the water in that way without actually making contact. Do you catch my drift? Yeah, DM, would I have identified that specifically? Um, whether or not the, the necklace itself had to get wet in order for it to activate? It would need to sink into the sea, is what you... So, yes. Um, it could be inside something, and it would be safe. Okay. So we, right. we attach it to a whole bunch of things that have uh, <laughs> explosive runes cast on them, and we just throw it out Nuke into it. the water. And just... <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. And just blow it up, <laughs> right? Charge, yeah. That's like that scene from... That's the second part of the Caribbean movie. Well, how yeah. much gold do we have left over? Um, party gold. Let's see here. But seriously, party we, gold I mean, currently sits at twenty six hundred. We, so we need to we need to make some coin, make, right? Make some cash. Okay. Yeah. If there's any to be made. Um. Yeah. Twenty six hundred is is ten glyphs of warding. Do we 13, want technically? to... Is there a place, um, Peter, where we can just bring the ship around a little bit closer so it's easier to get back and forth between the lagoon and the boat? Yeah, sure. Okay. We feel the threat has subsided, at least. Yeah. That which you know. Oh. All right. Um, yeah. I need to 
have something more than a baby and a fish man for this voyage. Baby and fish man do not coin make. Except probably in very, very strange portions of the world, but we don't need to think about that. Um, so. Well, are we going to take the... Sarain spent a lot of time in structures and such under the sea. Under the sea. Well, I, th I think we need to take the octopus with us in order to get Yeah, inside. do you want to take the octopus head down there? Seems the best choice. Better that than the obelisk that turns you into a tentacle monster. God, we have so much weird shit on this boat. Fuck. What do you say, Serene? We have an obelisk? Oh, um... I, yeah, I mean, if that's what the group wants me to do... We have the we have the paperweight. No, we don't. We don't actually have the paperweight. Never mind. I mean, I, I don't want to go by myself. That seems unwise. I'll go with you. I'll mm. go too. Freon, if you want. Freon go. can do a swim, and so can Talise. Yeah. And the the five of us that stayed on the island at least can breathe underwater. Mm -hmm. Oh well, then I everyone can, should go. I could cast that again to for Anaris and and Talise. Uh, how about, um, how about we, uh, t well, so the, is the ship close enough that we can, like, see the lagoon? Yeah, At you guys point? can okay. bring the ship pretty close. Prion's okay. preliminary scouting has shown that, um, the sides of this island just kind of go almost straight down. Okay. Um, so it's, there's not much danger in bringing your ship closer. Then, um, what I would propose is that at the, at minimum, um, Serene, Talise, and Prion swim down with the octopus head to see if it triggers anything. And if it does, then they can alert us and we can come out and go investigate. Solid plan. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So you're taking the octopus and just <laughs> splashing down and swimming around? Yeah. Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> Going and moving along the, the rocks underneath the water. Hey. Boom, boom, boom. Is there a door here? Is there a, boom, boom, boom. Is there a door here? Uh, who is uh, who is looking with you? Um, the three of us, I believe. To yeah. least Prion and um, Serene. And I will have cast another water breathing ritually to make sure that we can all breathe underwater if need be. Cool. The, the fishy folk are going first. Okay. <laughs> But not those you push, dive down into the water and start, I imagine, just kind of corkscrewing your way mm -hmm. around the this Which island. Which start um, in the, you know, the bit where they actually come out of. I think that's the base that would probably be best. To start. Yeah, that's pretty called, shallow. He called out and they just, like, arrived, so they couldn't mm. have been that far. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, and... Searching in that area, you don't see anything obvious. You're carrying this head around and sort of going right down and going about 20 feet, 30, about 50 feet down, you see some bubbles start to emerge from the side of the mountain. A section of the side of this volcano that is completely slick almost like smooth glass with obsidian and as you approach you hear this sort of grinding sound That's not a, star. a few more bubbles released to the surface swimming over there you see glowing in a faint um, deep almost lava magma like red on the stone itself is a glyph and the bubbles seem to be emerging from four specific locations each with arcane ruins circling around them each the center of each um, ruin 
that make up this glyph has a recess perfectly geometrical like a um, uh, like a prism that then comes to a point at the end four recesses the exact same shape as the paperweight that you stole <gasps> Mm -hmm. from the desk of Gellin Prime Water. Mm -hmm. Well, shit. Still nothing to spend. But another piece of the puzzle. Ryan? (sighs) Have you seen anything like this glyph thing before? Not like uh, this lock mechanism, but this actual glyph. No, I mean, this is this is new to me. I've never encountered something like this where I'm from. Uh, you can make an, uh, that would be another. Accurate, uh, right? re- you can make a religion check, Sarayan. Nifty. As okay. could with my plus zero. He never. I was like. I have a plus two and I'm proficient. 17. Oh, bad. Okay. Um, this is written in some form of primordial. Aha. Uh-huh. At least the magical glyphs seem to be based off of primordial language, as far as you can tell, which is a bit odd to you. Um, and the dialects, something you do not recognize. Certain words remind you of Aquin, but some are completely foreign. Um, is anyone else down there? Yeah. Making this same. I thought we were three gotcha. out there. So. Yeah. Yeah. Prion, yeah. you could make an Arcana check if you would like. Uh, anyone else could make an Arcana or Religion check. I can try one. Okay. I rolled a fourteen, so that's thirteen. And I rolled okay. a 13 religion, so... So neither of you get more information than Serene at this point. Something ancient, something primordial is the basis for this, these sigils that seem to ancient. emerge from the rock. Yeah. This is all underwater, right? It is. Mm-hmm. That's no moon. Um, Peter, doing the math in my brain as we wait upon the ship, how much money will we have to pay the crew when we get back? Because Elena has no idea, but Mariah probably does. (laughs) So please help. (laughs) I can assist with that. I'm good with math. Um, so... Your crew is, let's see, pull up um, the lovely Pixie's Fury. It's only 10% of the top um, if we find anything, can it? Yeah, but they still have a base pay. Yeah, yeah they, get, they get paid regardless. Mm-hmm. So they get paid 10 gold. Okay. Which was your promise per right, expedition. Ten ten. Yep. So Or not per expedition. Um they Um Well Yeah. Essentially per expedition. Okay. So you've been out on this one for about a day. Yeah. Sail so, else. if you consider this the expedition, you've sailed out, you've fired a ballista once, and sailing back about another eight hours. Okay. Well, when when we make port, how much do I expect to have to pay? Like, how many crew members are there? I oh, actually don't know the answer. Only to that ten question. gold pieces per crew member. Do we have? Like yeah, a... like we can afford that. I just want to you have know thirty how much. crew. Thirty crew. Oh. Okay, so three hundred gold when we make port, which yeah. is not bad. An expensive one day out. 
Well, it then is. maybe we do a little bit more, but we also have pressing matters, like delivering fresh octopus to what's his face. <laughs> We don't, know yet. The calamari. <laughs> we don't we don't know yet what they've found because they haven't come back yet. Right? Well, yeah. We lightly bruised octopus. I assume at this point it's been returned. The only way to eat it. The the yeah, next come back. the next part is you you can freely discuss. Um, yeah. Well there, there exactly is the option happened. of <laughs> just trying to dispel the lock on the door if it is magical. <laughs> I have no idea. If we really want to get in now, that that be the way to do it. It's always worth a roll. But what dangers await within for a lock that's clearly meant to be blocked by certain parts of story with yes, which like... we would gain <laughs> levels? <laughs> that's some video game logic there. Yeah. <laughs> you have I'm gonna played a lot of glitch, I'm gonna try and glitch through this do this door. Yeah, let's just speed run it. It's fine. Oh, fuck. I can't stand next to the door. And Does the world level and... with you, or... <laughs> or are there big red skulls above the enemy's heads on the other side of this door? Well, <laughs> if there are big red skulls above their heads, then we just turn around and run away. And hope they Come don't later. as quickly as we do. It'll be fine. Brave, brave Sir Melvin. Brave Sir Melvin. <laughs> and away. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm, what do you uh, think, guys? Back to back to Saltmarsh. I'm well, okay with heading back. We could also go somewhere else to. Okay, get well, some let, loot. let's whip out the map. There uh, are a couple of locations. If I flip back through my notes. It's true. I'm curious uh, how close we are to any of those. One of them is pretty far south. Being that we're a day away from Saltmarsh, and that Kalen as a baby. I mean, a baby is, we can't take a baby with us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> go and the attack something. The baby, the baby needs fine, to go right? back to Salt Marsh. Bebe needs a milk nurse. Um, I have a look and underneath our boys. boat and see if there's any shipwrecks. Um, it, this volcanic uh, protrusion just disappears down into the ocean. There is no shipwrecks to be seen, and the bottom of the sea itself is not something that you can see with your vision. It disappears into blackness. Do we ask the dwarves if they have the means to mine obsidian? Like, not the one with the glyph on it, Probably but like not the other obsidian. If they were, I don't know. We cast Valheim, water breathing on them. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, Keenum, it, <laughs> does Melvin know the value of obsidian? <laughs> oh, Being from a merchant family. What is what is the what is the persuasion role to get the dwarves to mine <laughs> obsidian underwater? <laughs> I need to know this. <laughs> it's less than the DC to dispel the plot locked door. Okay. <laughs> anyway, no, Obsidian. <laughs> it, it, good DM. Would Obsidian even be worth our time? Like, um, in terms of monetary value? No. Okay, great. Let's go yeah, home. <laughs> I will pay them 300 gold. For we, the day, you we could also I will less say than less than a day important. Mariah, you could try to convince the crew that it is a port of call. They are to stay aboard the ship. You are resupplying and heading out. That this is not the oh. end of a voyage. Okay. I'm it's not fine. gonna like screw you guys just because mm. this particular chapter you needed oh. to stop back okay. home real quick when you were on you you, you okay. set out in a hurry. So uh, that, that, in that in that event, then I I'll. Uh, do we have some like senior members of the crew, like you know, people not uh, you know not not uh, the officers, but you know, like We've the middle him. management? <laughs> We've already promoted. Yeah. The dog okay. There's a second here. mate. So, there's a bosun's mate. That kind of stuff. Great. And I'm going to yeah. talk to the middle management. And right. I'm going to explain <laughs> the non-coms that because that because we saved a baby, <laughs> but we don't want to take a baby 
on a voyage to places where there are other dangerous things. And also there's this thing that they that some of the crew really doesn't want on the ship that should probably not be on the ship. <laughs> um, making allusions towards Kaelin and the pendant. Um, that we want to do a quick pit stop to uh, Salt Marsh to briefly resupply, get the people off the ship who need to be off the ship and safely situated um, in town. And then we will press on to shinier places. That sounds good. Um, no role required. That is just normal nautical procedure. So gotcha. they will nod and go about informing the crew of that. Um, you will hear some pissing and moaning about the crew for not getting um, time to go get shit faced at the different taverns in town. But besides that, it's I'll understood. I'll pass out no two one... full bottles of ale if it makes them feel better. Yeah, two, two bottles? Have some whiskey. I don't know. It's shots. Better. Shots for the crew. Lots of you could always crack open the grog and promise that you'll get a new barrel once you, uh, you know. Don't do that. I mean, it's, it's we need all a functional for the grog. crew. We do need a functional. Okay, crew. that's probably uh, wise. All yeah. right, it the the intention is understood, and you will be able to make your voyage back to Salt Marsh to um, resupply and drop off any, um, you know, uh, unmentionables. Im, un, you know. <laughs> any extremely dangerous items. <laughs> yeah. And um, I think that is where we will call it off tonight as you guys pull into port. Um, we'll start at Salt Marsh uh, next session and go from there. Officers, of course, get to go aboard, get ashore. Yeah, we got oh, yes, yeah, of course. Heck yeah. We've got errands. <laughs>